Hello, everybody. I just messed with my uh, microphone, so I'm a little worried it's not working right. Let me know how I sound. I'm just getting all set up here, and I'll be on in just a sec. But uh, yeah, let me know how I sound so, you know, if I sound weird, I can fix it. Okay, be on soon. Hey, still getting set up, but someone mentioned about the link, the top link not working for the giveaway. Um, I just turned it on. It should be working. Let me know if it doesn't. I'll post uh, something about it in the chat right now so that you can uh, join it. But it's just a give giveaway link. It should work, I hope. But yeah, let me know if it doesn't. Beyond soon. Okay, I think it's time to get rocking and rolling. Here we go. Oops. Oh no, I'm dropping everything. Okay. Now it's time to get rocking and rolling. <laughs> 
Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Is the background audio working? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the live stream. Today, we are going to be crocheting some fancy little ghosts. Let me talk about... Ooh, moving the table. Oh, I knocked over Ghastly. Yay, 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 yay. Um... Let me talk about what you need for this uh, this live crochet along before I talk about how you can help support this channel if you want to so you can get everything that you need. So today we're going to be crocheting all these little ghosts back there. I'm going to try to get to all of them. I think I can. They're pretty quick patterns. Um, for, this, for these patterns, you're going to need the following materials. I'm using all worsted weight yarn as I normally do. Um, I'm using 100% cotton in the colors. Hold on. There we go. In the colors, white, that's your main color. You're going to need mostly white. Black, that's going to be for uh, ghastly here and some of the little uh, facial features. You'll need pink, uh, uh, just a very small amount of maroon for Boo's mouth. And then you'll need some purple needle felt or felting wool for um, ghastly here. I, you know, if you don't have this, that's fine. You could probably use regular felt um, for that and maybe like try to tease it out. Uh, but if you want to get a um, kit with all these yarns and everything that you need, I uh, have them available in the shop. You can find that at just clubcrochet.com slash ghosts. That'll be right there. That's where you can also find the crochet patterns for these. Uh, and the main ghost right here is actually a free pattern. So it's out now. Um, you'll also need a crochet hook. I'm going to be using a size G, four millimeter crochet hook. Extremely blurry. I'll fix that in a sec. Uh, yeah, we'll need a pair of scissors, a darning needle. I like using a crimped end. And then a, if you're going to be making ghastly with the needle felt, you'll need a felting needle, which is like this thing. It's very sharp, so I'm going to be very careful with it. Uh, and you'll need some safety bead eyes and some stuffing. Okay, so I think that's it for the materials that you need for this pattern. Now let's talk about how you can support this channel if you'd like to. By the way, hello chat. I see you guys over there and I'll get to you in just a second. Thank you so much for just being uh, just so energetic today. That's very cool. Um, okay, so, uh, da, 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 da. oh yeah. If you wanna help support this channel, there's a few ways you can do so. The first cheapest, easiest way is by liking this video down below and subscribing to the channel. If this video gets over, I think, what did I say, 300? I think I said 300 likes, let's see. 350, okay. If this video gets over 350 likes, that's right, because the last one got over 300. So if this video gets over 350 likes, I'll do a giveaway on the next live stream where we'll be making um, Audrey 2 and I'll be talking about this here in just a second as well. Um, but last last time you guys uh, got it over 300 likes, so I promised you a giveaway for this live stream, so we're doing one. There's a link in the description where you can enter a form to win a ghost kit with everything that you see here um, to crochet all these guys. All you have to do is just put in your email. That's really all you need, and name, and then let me know which one is your favorite, just because I'm curious. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be doing another giveaway if this gets 350 likes. So that's the easiest, cheapest, freest way to support. If you want to help support this channel financially, uh, there's a few ways you can do so with that as well. Um, the first best way is with a Club Crochet membership. Members get early access to future patterns. They get exclusive access to a bunch of tutorials on the website, the newest one being Audrey 2 here. They even get monthly kits mailed to their door with all the materials they need to make whatever we're making that month. Um, next month, uh, this month we're making Audrey 2, so all these kits should be f with everybody um, that is a pro member right now. But next month we're going to either be doing, um, you're going to be able to choose between Long Pigeon with a little party hat underneath. I wish I had it right here so I could show you it, um, but I forgot to bring it out. Um, uh, for fans of the channel, Long Pigeon is just a big burb uh, that is really cool. Or um, I, I'm not really sure if we're going to do a present kit or the turkey burb. Um, but we're going to do one of the two. The reason we're going like birthday themed is because it's going to be Club Crochet's fourth birthday in November. So I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, so that's that's a great way to help financially support this channel. You can also get merch. Uh, we got these new pins in the shop. Um, you can super chat or donate. If you donate, I'll put something out just for you. Uh, in the back and you'll get to name it and it'll be all great and yeah 
Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. What else? Oh, yeah, the Audrey kits. So next week's live stream is going to be a Crochet Along for Audrey 2, um, a.k.a. this carnivorous alien plant. That is the newest kit. Um, so these kits are actually available in the in the shop right now so if you purchase it today and you're in uh and you're not international and you're in the united states you'll definitely get it before next uh live stream so that you can crochet with us uh it'll be next wednesday so not this wednesday but the wednesday after at uh october 20th at 4 p.m we're going to be crocheting audrey 2 and so if you order a crochet kit by then you'll get everything that you need that i'm going to be making and it even includes one of these little pots um, I only have a few extra kits available, so purchase them now if you want one. Uh, but that's why this fella's out here, and this is the newest pattern for Club Crochet Pro members. I'm going to put this right here, and I'm not going to knock it over this time. I knocked it over last time, and I felt so bad for poor Audrey. Almost knocked it over again. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. Um, all right, so let's get this stuff a little bit out of the way. I have a few cool things that I get to show you guys today and so if you oh man normal gecko right out the gates wow dude thank you okay oh, so normal gecko says uh, sadly can't stick around long term but in return here everyone has a good stream thank you so much normal gecko so that's a great start um, and I'm gonna be putting out this for you normal gecko real quick uh, This is something I made this week that I think you guys might really like so I'm really excited to show you uh, I'm gonna be working on a pattern for this uh, Hopefully this week maybe next <coughs> There's a lot of kits or a lot of patterns. I want to do this month, so it might be kind of tough, but It is a crow. It's a crow burb. It's a brand new burb. Look how cute this is. Check it out Yeah, that's right. It's a burb so new crow burb coming at you soon. Um, the pattern's pretty easy, so I think I can probably finish it up. Like, I guess it's not necessarily an easy pattern. It's just uh, I repurpose a lot of other burb parts for this. So the pattern should be out pretty soon. I'm going to put this out right here for you, Normal Gecko. Thank you so much. And if Cooper's in here too, hello, Cooper. That is uh, Normal Gecko's boyfriend. Um, okay, and oh and Tina. Thank you Tina. I'm gonna put out something for you that I know you're gonna like um, It is a frog uh, These are this is a new pattern coming out. I don't know soonish I really need to uh, I want to come out with it soon But I want to come out with like a bunch of them at the same time like a bunch of little uh, Little characters like this and it is a frog uh, like F R A W G So it's like not a frog. It's like a a, a, a frog uh, so this I actually added this to the rough drafts last night for you guys So if you are um, a club crochet member you get access to my rough draft patterns that aren't really ready to be released yet Look he's even got a little butt um, <laughs> So this is a new little pattern that I'm working on um, But yeah, this is out for you Tina. Thank you for your support Put it right there Sorry that I couldn't get that um, pattern out there a little sooner for you guys uh, and I'll be getting other parts like the pug out ASAP. Um, I'm going to be very careful with this needle. In fact, let's put it in the frog. Just like that. <laughs> He's getting a little acupuncture. All right, let's move this around. And let's start with... Um, let's start with... the. You know, ooh, do we want to start with Ghastly? There is a Ghastly tutorial. Um, Draj says make a ghastly tutorial all these ghosts that we're making today right there um all the patterns are right here clubcrochet.com slash ghosts and they actually all have full video tutorials just like all my other patterns too so there is a tutorial for ghastly ah ah acupuncture okay all right let's move this over let's just start with our classic ghost oh i forgot to also mention we're doing uh, i just launched the new club crochet challenge today um so we are doing a brand new club crochet challenge where uh, you crochet something from the library and customize it to make it your own kind of character. So this month we're doing ghosts. So you can use any of the ghost patterns that I showed that are available right there uh, for your template. And then you kind of customize it to add hats or like make it, give it a costume, you know, give it a Halloween costume. So they're dressed up for Halloween. 
Um, I put all the information at clubcrochet.com slash challenge. It launched today. Um, you have to submit your uh, your challenge pictures by October 27th at the latest. Uh, and then we will choose our top four. And then everybody the, the everybody is going to vote on their favorite. And their favorite is going to win some money. So that is the Club Crochet Challenge this month. You, again, you can find out more information about that at clubcrochet.com slash challenge. Okay, I think that's my, like, main spiel. I know that was pretty long, so I'm sorry about that. But hello, everybody in the chat. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Lizzie, welcome back. Welcome back. Lizzie's been a little bit, uh, a little gone for a while, so it's nice to have her back. Kaden! Oh, your day's not going too well. Well, I hope your day goes a little bit better now that you can be crocheting with us. I'm sorry that your day's not going great, but welcome. Hope it make it better. Olga is a new subscriber. Oh, cool. Welcome. Welcome to the new, uh, welcome to the club. Okay, so we have got to add for this ghost a hat. Um... You know, let's let's participate. I mean, I'm not gonna actually participate in the challenge because I don't think that's very fair because I'm the one that made the challenge. So instead, I'm just gonna make something for it. Um, if you have any suggestions for a hat, let me know what kind of hat do you think I should give our ghost that we're making right now? And what kind of facial features should we do? Should we do grumpy, happy, surprised? Help me out here. What kind of ghost should we do here? I mean, we're just going to do a classic ghost, so it's not going to be too complicated of a pattern. I just want to, like, customize it as much as possible, kind of show you what we're looking for for the Club Crochet Challenge, although you can do whatever you want for the Club Crochet Challenge. Oh, Caden broke their leg. That's that's a bummer. But you know what? You don't need your legs to crochet. <laughs> Corga Queen made Chubzilla. Oh, I love Chubzilla. That's actually not my original design. That's a pattern from another designer called um, Geeky Hooker. They're a good friend of mine. Uh, we've we've been like growing up in the crochet community for a long time. Like when I just started, uh, they were also just starting. So we did that collaboration pattern a while ago, and I love that pattern. Ooh, we got a top hat, a witch hat. I already did one with a witch hat, so I don't want to do the witch hat, but a top hat's not a bad idea. They want an evil, an evil. Ooh, a pumpkin hat. We could probably do a pumpkin hat. That'd be kind of fun. That'd be a cool idea. I like that. Oh, all good. Hey, Johnny. How you doing? Top hat and a monocle. Oh, we can do a top hat and a monocle. We got a lot of top hat options. That's a good idea. Can you say hi to Jules and Jack Gurgle? Jules for sure. Jack Gurgle, Jack Gurgle maybe. He's pretty He's pretty nappy, but I, I can, like, napping. But maybe I can wake him up a little later. But Jules definitely you can say hello to. She'll be coming to say hi soon. A fedora. I like that idea. Okay, let me let me tilt this a little bit so it's easier to read. Oh, devil horns headband. Oh man, you guys are got. That's a good idea too. I like these ideas. A devil horn headband, fedora, and a, a top hat with a monocle. We're gonna have to give. Because we can do hats or something for other people too. Or for other ghosts too. So maybe we'll save one of these for, for a pinky or something. Ruben, which one am I crocheting now? I am just crocheting the classic ghost to start out with. Give us a little bit of a warm up. Um, people, a lot of people were saying, like someone said grumpy face. So we're making this. It's a really easy pattern. Uh, this is like the main ghost pattern. Uh, it's perfect for beginners too. If you're a complete beginner and you need some like practice or you need to like, you, you just want to go, okay, I want to learn how to crochet Amy Groomy. Start out with this ghost pattern. It's the perfect time for it and it's a great beginner pattern. Johnny's making a bunny. <laughs> you're getting ready for Easter like way early. That's cool. A big bunny, a little bunny. What kind of, what, what kind of bunny we're talking here? A floppy bunny. 
One time I was driving around in my hometown uh, in Southern California and I stopped in the middle of the street and I was like, what? what is that? And I got out and it was just a herd of bunnies. I don't know what you'd call a herd of bunnies, but it was like, it was like six different bunnies and they weren't, they weren't like rabbits, you know, they were legitimately just bunnies. They were like floppy white bunnies. It was so weird. They were just like in the middle of the street. I never forgot about it. I tried to catch one because I wanted to keep a bunny, but I never did. Never could. They're too quick. They're too, they're too wily. Also, I used to own bunnies. This is a sad story, but you know what? It's not sad. It, well, it's a little sad, but I'm going to tell you it anyhow because uh, it happened a long time ago, so it's okay. Not, that doesn't make any sense. Anyhow, so I used to have bunnies. I used to have two bunnies. Um, I don't remember what their names were. Uh, one of them, uh, my, our dog got, and it was really sad. But the other one I had for a long time, and then it got out of a cage once, and then uh, uh, its back broke, and so it just it didn't, it didn't survive it. Um, so... For the longest time, that I was like five or six when that happened, and I always thought that it was my cousin, Sarah, who broke my bunny's back. Until, like, I was 22, maybe, and my mom, we were in the car with my mom once, and my mom went, like, said something about breaking my bunny's back, and I went, wait, wait, what? And she went, oh, no, I mean, uh, mm. and she, th my mom is the one that broke the bunny's back. It, and she let me think that it was my cousin the whole time. And I was like, Mom, I always thought it was my cousin. <laughs> For the longest time. And she knew that I thought it was my cousin. She was just being secretive about it. And I was it. that's so not something my mom would do also. It's very, it, it was funny in the moment. <laughs> it was sad, but it was funny. That's right, a new burb coming at you. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Um, probably within a week or two, uh, I, I just finished up a new tutorial for just, just the witch hat. So I'm trying to come out with that next week, but then after that, Ooh. an owl, we got some owls. I got some owl burbs. Let's see here. Oh, oh, we got a back, we got a back issue today. I'm hoping Joel's pops in soon so I can ask you for one of those back warmers but I gotta I want to like sneak in a little further there we go oh my god dumb dog studios that is a great idea for the challenge a little tiny ghost on top of another ghost that's a very good idea uh I would I would do that if I were you because I think that is a great idea for the club crochet challenge I mean Ooh, a goblin-themed hat. Hmm. What would a goblin-themed hat look like? That long pigeon. Corgi Queen asks, Can I do a tutorial on how to design an amigurumi? Yes, definitely. That is... Um, one of the big things that I want to do next year... I mean, this year, for the rest of this year, it's going to be... I won't be able to do it just because pretty much from September to like February is basically busy season for club crochet. Uh, meaning that, you know, there's just a lot of things that I want to crochet just because I get really inspired by, by fall and then by winter. And then after that, I kind of relax a little, a little bit as far as like new designs go. So after that, in 2022, I'm trying to make start my big plans. And one of my big plans for that year is that I really want to do um, more Amy Gurumi 101 tutorials. So I would like to start making a, um, a how to design Amy Gurumi tutorial next year. I want to focus on those. I want to focus more on community uh, parts of the website. So, oh gosh, sorry, I'm just trying to sit up a little bit. Um, so I'm, I've got like options on the website to do like forms and forums and stuff like that. So I really want to upgrade 
the website a little bit for that. Maybe get an app out soon. <laughs> but yeah. Got <laughs> Corky Queen, you're funny. <laughs> We're all friends here, yeah. Oh my gosh, 72 people watching right now. Hello, everybody. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. A little spider would be a cute little crawler to crochet. You know what? I agree. I was talking to Jules um, yesterday about that because Jules is deathly afraid of spiders. She really does not like spiders. So I said, oh, I really want to crochet a spider. And she's like, no, don't crochet a spider. And I said, I'm going to make a cute spider. She said, as long as you don't try to, try to, uh, like, scare me with it, I'm okay with it. And I'm like, okay. But now all I want to do is scare her with it. Why'd she tell me that? <laughs> She is really afraid of spiders, though. So I always tell her, um, we watched a, a documentary once about, um, about mongoose, a mongoose, and mongoose, mongoosey, mongooses? I don't know if it would be mongoose or not, but anyhow, mongoose, uh, eat spiders. They eat, uh, like tarantulas and stuff, so I, I always tell her, to, to confront her fear, I say, be the mongoose, eat it a spidey. You must be the mongoose and eat it a spidey. <laughs> Ruben, can I do a tutorial on how to crochet fast? That's a great idea. You know what? Let me write these down so I don't forget them because I really think that's a good idea too. Let me see. Hold on. I'll just write them, I'll just write them down in this note. So how to design... And what was it? How to crochet fast. Those are great ideas. I love them. Wrote them down just so I can can remember later. One, two, three, four. Yes, the giveaway. So, Kokel, uh, ask about the giveaway um i guess i totally forgot to tell you about what the giveaway is for the giveaway is going to be for a club crochet or a, a, the ghost kit but it doesn't you can either get the ghost kit or the a, a gift card for the club crochet store with everything uh for enough to buy the ghost kit so you can either purchase like a club crochet membership instead or you could do any kind of kit you could purchase the um audrey 2 kit in in its place so yeah, that's what the giveaway's for. It's for a gift card for the Club Crochet store for a crochet kit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How's the music, by the way? Is it too quiet? No, it looks like it's, it looks like it's bumping. Oh, Minecraft hat. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, the heebie-jeebie scale. Off the charts. My roommate, in, Brent says, my roommate in college and I had a spider ring from a Halloween party and we would hide it so that our other would find it and get freaked out. Reach for a banana. <laughs> That's so fun. And then she took the spider ring. She was like, no. She was like, uh-uh, not cool, guys, not cool. Ooh, a raccoon. Yes, I need to do a raccoon. Gosh, there's so many designs I want to make. So little time. Is the gift card all online? Like, would you just get a code? Yes, yeah. You would get a gift code, basically, to use, uh, and it will have enough money on it to purchase the ghost pattern or whatever you want to get. Okay, so I've already finished round eight, so we're, we are... We're flying... We're flying even. What are you guys crocheting? Anybody crocheting a ghost with me? Or I, I saw someone, I think Lizzie said that they're making a ghastly. Anybody else making anything cool? What are you guys working on? I know Johnny is making a bunny. I do want to make a tutorial on how to use needle felt for your amigurumi. 
But I don't know if I really want to get into other crafts outside of crochet too much uh, for this channel. I mean, I think this channel is going to, going to be specifically about crochet. But I would, I like the idea of maybe sooner or later doing a, some more uh, crochet stuff. Or I mean, some more uh, tutorials about other crafts maybe. Oh, dude, Brent is making the ghost kit. Very cool. Coco, the crochet pattern for the one I'm making right now is free. It's at clubcrochet.com slash ghosts right there if you wanted to go to find this pattern. Amy Gurumi girl is making some fingerless mitts. Brent, it's... Have to go... Oh, you're tutoring. Okay. We'll see you later. Thanks for joining, Brent. Jane is making a bulky ghost. That's dope. I want to see that. I want. I thought is dope. I want to see that. I said that's so deadpan. That is dope, and I would like to see that. You want to hear my robot voice? Let's see. What should I say? I'll, I'll just say that is dope. I would like to see that. This is my robot voice. I think it's pretty good. Personally. Emily, what are you drawing? Emily is drawing. What you making? So we're making the frill now at the bottom of our ghost. It does kind of sound like Stephen Hawking. Black holes are amazing. I find that the easiest way to do a robot voice is just, um... To, to clench your mouth like this and talk through your teeth. That's all you really have to do. Scrap and Twins is crocheting a teepee. I thought it said toupee at first and I was like, I don't know if that's going to work, man. <laughs> I, uh, I used to make teepees when I was in elementary school. I was really into teepees, and I just thought they were so cool. So me and my dad would make teepees. Good times. Hi, Candy. They, you're very sweet to let your, uh, to let Caden use your phone. Okay. Ooh. I think I want to add... What kind of face... Is pe some people are saying grumpy. What about... Maybe we could try surprised. Or maybe we do... Silly? We could do a little, like... One with its tongue out. Let's do that. That sounds fun. Let's do a silly one. And then we could also add the top hat and monocle on a silly face. That, personally, that's what I think would be really cool. Alright, and we're going to slip stitch. And then we are... And, okay, cool. Let's add the face. So I'm, I think I really like the idea of doing a silly face. I'm not going to add the monocle until I'm done with the, with the piece. So I'll make the face first and then I'll do the monocle afterwards. Um, let's see, where does the face go? Add eyes between, into around six. Okay, so one, two. Sometimes you just need to also read your own patterns. Let's try here. And no, one more over. How's this look? Oh, I think that eye is a little too far away. Let's try this one. That's pretty good.
right? One, two, three, for mouth. Why don't we, let? maybe we try doing the mouth first and then we add the eyes on the outside of the mouth to, to so that it, we know that we will, you know, it's in a spot that we like. It's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea, not a bad idea. Yes, 350 likes, go, go, go. Yeah, if this video gets to 350 likes, we'll do another giveaway next week, probably for an Audrey 2 kit. Um, by the way, we're doing Audrey 2 September 20th. Um, after this live stream, I actually already set it up so that you can uh, like get ready for the next live stream right after this one. So I'll maybe I'll post a link about that uh, near to the end of this video. But yes, there is another a newther. There is a newther live stream happening next week for Audrey too. And if you want to get prepped for that. Do I have my, no, I kind of want to use black thread, uh, whatever, let's just keep going. I'm getting, I got ants all up in my pants. <laughs> let's go like that. So I'm doing a silly face here and I actually have a tutorial I think for how to do this silly face in the, in the, um, on the website, but I think this should work. Let's, we're gonna give it a, we're gonna give it a shot and see how this goes. We might have to undo this and try it again, though. The goal is to do that. Yeah, no way, this is gonna be great. Check this out. Let's go right. Let's see if we do it right here. Is that too far? Mm. No, we need to do that again. I want to give him a little chubby face. You know, like, Nyeh. you know, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Kind of like, Nyeh. let's try that. And then we'll pull over from that. Maybe I should go. Okay, wait. Let's try this. I'm gonna try this mouth one more time. I got. I got an idea. I got an idea. See Amy Groomy Girl. Wow, we're up to 80 people. Hello, everybody joining the stream. Do I use a stitch marker? No, I don't. Actually, Ruben, that is a great way, uh, a great part of the tutorial that I want to do for how to do, um, how to crochet faster would be how to crochet, like, how do you crochet without stitch markers? Because that makes things a lot quicker for me, at least. Let's try it like this. We're gonna go with that, that, up to that one. We'll go under that, over, under this one, and then back down. Let's see how this goes. Uh, it's not getting as chubby as I want it to be. It's kind of getting weird. Well, it's not too bad, but I think I want this. Can I pull this end out? No. No, I can't. Okay, let's try one more time. One more time. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I got it. I got an idea. We still got to redo it, but I got an idea, guys. I got an idea. We'll just do the chubby on one side of the face because he's gonna have his tongue out anyhow. So he's like, mm. that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go this one, 
two. Skip to my loo. And then through this. Like that. And then we'll just go over like to here. Let's see how this looks. It's like he's got bubble gum in his mouth. And then we'll put a tongue out facing down. That's what we're gonna do. Let's give it a shot. You can always do it again later because it's crochet and you never can mess it up too bad. This song is weird, I think. You can't even hear it really. Very, very quiet. Too quiet. See you, Elizabeth. Thanks for joining. Use a little bit of our pink yarn. We'll go that. Let's try it right here. Or do we want the tongue up? Mm. Yeah, let's do up. See how that looks. I'm just gonna repeat this a few times to try to get a tongue looking thing. Like that. Okay, how's this look? Does that look like he's got his tongue up? No, I don't think so. Let's do it the other way around then. Looks like a weird nose. Let's go, we should actually, maybe we'll give it a nose. Let's go down instead. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, we'll double that up. Right? That's pretty cute. I like that. Gotta get some of this fuzz out of the way, but I'm liking it. I think we're gonna add the top hat later? Just because I want to try to get through all of the ghosts first, but I do think we want to add a top hat and a monocle to this guy in a little bit. But let's see here. How do we like that? I like it. I like it. What do you guys think? This must be what 3D printers feel like. Yes, this is exactly what they feel like. They feel like this. They go, ut, ut, ut. I made you a ghost out of yarn. How do you like my ghost? I think it's pretty cute, personally. I really like this, the cheek, but I think we can do maybe a little bit more. Like this. So I'm just trying to like pull out the top part a little bit, make it a little bit more pronounced. That's pretty cute. Oh my god. He's gonna look so cute with the monocle and stuff too. Okay. Let's <laughs> oh my god, that's gonna be cute. Let's keep going. Did I yes, Dumb Dog Studios. I loved your Princess Peach's castle. It was very cute. That's what his submission was for our last challenge, which was our castle challenge. But this month we're doing the ghost challenge. By the way, for anybody new that had that doesn't know, uh, we just launched our newest club crochet challenge. You just gotta crochet a ghost and um, post a picture on the Discord, Instagram, or subreddit. Uh, all the information is at clubcrochet.com slash challenge. Actually, I think Coffee and Crochet, you're in the chat, yeah. Coffee and Crochet, could you post a link to the challenge? Just post like, join the club crochet challenge and then put clubcrochet.com slash challenge um my camera's out of focus thank you very much thank you very very much how is that thank you for the tip though 
I appreciate it. Hello, Sin. Welcome to the stream. The derp is strong in th with this one. Yes. I mean, if he's like a f he, if he's like a rich ghost that has um. I think I missed a stitch somewhere. Let's see. Oh no! Wait, did I? How did I do this? What did I do? Oh yes, I did. Right there. I decreased too late. Okay. I can fix this. I did make a crow burb, Takayaki. That's this. That's this little fella right there. Is a crow burb. A crow burb. Okay, yeah, we're we're on track. We're on track. Okay, we're gonna try stuffing this a little bit with um, some yarn and stuffing, so we can get rid of some of this excess yarn that we have. Um, I started collecting my yarn. Check this out. I bought this little basket, and I just started collecting my yarn in here. My my spare like threads of yarn, and apparently an entire ball of yarn. It's not supposed to be in there, but the spare threads of yarn in here to just use for stuffing uh, and with regular stuffing. I, I like to mix the two um, instead of just doing all with just uh, one or the other. I like to mix the two. So I start with regular stuffing so that it fits. It gets in all the crevices and then I put in the center of the regular stuffing some yarn to get rid of like the excess scraps. Like that. threads there and this way I don't use too much yarn it's like a nice way to just reuse reduce reuse recycle stuff um, and then I'm gonna add a little bit more yarn and stuffing at the end once I do another round of crochet yes crochet burb is coming out um, uh, uh, soon as soon as I can where is Mel Bell and Sarah? That's a good question. I don't know. I should reach out to them and see how they're doing. Um, they haven't come in to the as a moderator for a while, so I should reach out. But the answer is I'm not sure where they're at. That's okay. As long as we got one moderator in here, that's great. So thank you so much to Coffee and Crochet for joining and moderating. I know. I'm so... I'm so curious to see all the cute costumes that people make for their ghosts. Especially, someone said that they wanted to make a little mini ghost for their ghost, and I really like that idea. Dude, I like cheese. Thank you so much. It's my favorite crochet channel, too. <laughs> okay, so that is the last stitch for our regular ghost. We're going to come back to him a little later and add our monocle and stuff. But let's stuff them up as much as we can. Add a little bit more of this excess yarn. I'm just using the back of my needle to help stuff. Usually that's what I do because it's a rubber needle and it like grips the yarn or the stuffing really well. But sometimes I use a pencil instead. That is a derpy ghost. I love him. Uh-oh, I love him. Kaden, all right, see you later, Kaden. Uh, the pro membership is a monthly payment. It's 20, or it starts at $15 a month, and then it goes up to $20 a month after that. Um, and yeah, and it gets you a kit to your door every month. I really wanna make a yearly option for the pro membership but it's kind of tough because uh with shipping and stuff it depends on the month or it depends on where you're from so but i am working on that for soon but that is a derpy that is a derpy ghost if i've ever seen one i love them okay so let's sew it up 
Um, oh, let me show you. I figured this out this week. I can sew things up without even a needle. Check this out. So normally I take the needle, I thread it on, and then I go up through all the front loops of the stitches around. But I figured out that instead of doing that, I could just use my crochet hook and go into the front loops instead. And then just thread the yarn and pull through. And it makes it so you don't even need a needle to sew it closed. So certain of my patterns, the only part you need a needle for is to sew it closed, which means that now you don't even need a needle to sew closed. So I just do that, pull through the front loops of each of the stitches. And I'll show you how to pull it closed. This is the last one. And then I just come out, come in through a stitch on the back, out through the very bottom, yarn over and pull it through. And then I just pull it tight. And I can pull it out again if I want to, like this, just in case, but I don't really need to. Oops. There we go. And then just cut it close. Isn't that cool? A new way to sew closed. All right, one ghost down, three to go. We're gonna add uh, a monocle and stuff to this guy in a little bit. So we'll just have him sitting here, just watching us make other ghosts. And let's go with, um, let's go with Pinky next. Pinky's nice and easy. Another, uh, just another ghost. Pinky from, uh, from Pac-Man. That's what we're doing. We're doing Pinky from Pac-Man. And it's actually really similar to this ghost, but with color changes in the eyes and no um, no bobble stitches for arms, because Pinky doesn't really have arms. I guess it's a Raven Burb, Crow Burb. I'm not really sure. I have another one though. Um, this is another tutorial I want to do soon: is how to make uh, eyelids for your eyes, because I love doing these bobble stitch eyes, right? But I really want to start adding eyelids to it to give it a little bit more customization. So this is another crow that I made. My goal with this crow is I want to give him a tie, a little newspaper coming out of the uh, his like wing here, and a coffee cup, a little tiny coffee cup. And then I want to hide him at my uh, the bus station that's right up the street from here and just put him at the bus station, see if anybody notices him. Or do it with a pigeon, but I don't know. For some reason, I keep thinking a crow is a funny idea. Live stream exclusive way to sew closed. Yep, exactly. I'll maybe I should just do like a little reel or something for that. Okay, three, four, five. Three, four, five, six. Okay. We're going now. Gah. Gotcha. So that first stitch, every time I crochet, that first stitch of the second round is always like the one that's really tough to get into but once I get to that one it it's a breeze easy breezy beautiful cover girl okay wow we're already at 171 okay well we might make it to 350 at this rate again if we make it to 350 likes I'll do another giveaway next week for even a bigger um giveaway than this week well, I guess it's technically the same. I don't know. We're doing a giveaway next week for Audrey too, though. Oh, I love that, Alice. That's a great idea. Just a little tiny heart in the middle of the ghost. All right. See you, Brent. Thanks for joining. Have, have a good time tutoring. I don't know what you're tutoring, but enjoy the tutoring. Enjoy tooting. <laughs> Hello, Dino Cats. Welcome to the stream. All right. All right, all right, all right. All good, Sin. No worries. Hope you hope you feel better soon.
Okay. So we're making Pinky now from Pac-Man. We got one of our four ghosts done from our ghost kit. Except for we need, of course, we need to add his monocle and top hat. But I'm going to do that after I finish the other ghosts first. What is it? What color is a shiny ghastly? What does a shiny ghastly look like? Might be kind of fun to do a shiny one, but I don't know if I have the right felt for that. Let's see. Shiny images. Oh, they're just ghastly, but with purple. It's a purple ghastly. Man, shiny ghastly is boring. That's kind of a bummer because, like, Ghastly's so cool, but Shiny Ghastly's lame -o. I think that is dabbing, Dub Dog Studios. I think that's what that emoji is, is dabbing. Does it come up, does that emoji come up on the, I guess it doesn't, huh? I was wondering if the emoji comes up on the chat uh, in the video, but I don't think it does. Does it still come up with if someone subscribes down here in the bottom left? Is there like a little subscribe thing that pops up? I'm never sure if it does or not because I always miss it. I tried to set it up so that it would, but I don't know. I don't know. Time to start customizing. Wow, Coco's gonna be the first one to submit for the ghost giveaway, or for the ghost challenge, I think. By the way, if you haven't yet, make sure to join the um, the giveaway. There is a giveaway going on right now. Um, enter the giveaway, let me see. Enter the giveaway. I think I still have it. In my copy, let me see. Yes. There you go, I just put it in the chat. But uh, there's a giveaway we're gonna be giving away at the end of the live stream. So we'll choose someone at random at the end of the live stream. One, two, three, four, and five. So what I really, really like about this pinky pattern, really about this ghost kit in general, is it's really good for beginners. Now. I know this sounds like it's I'm doing a sales pitch, but seriously, I really enjoy this part about the pattern. So what I really like is you start with the ghost, and so you learn how to like crochet with the ghost, and then you move to pinky after that, and you learn how to do color changes because it's almost the same pattern, but instead of doing the arms, you're doing color changes for the eye eyeballs. And uh, I don't know. I just really am proud of I'm proud of this kit a lot. Is the giveaway international? It absolutely is international. So if you are international, no worries at all. You can still join it. I'm trying to fix that. Let me do that again. I had too much white yarn. I didn't want to waste it. Okay. Let us try this again, yes. How do you join the giveaway? All you gotta do is go into that form uh, that I just posted in the chat and uh, enter your information. So all I all I need to know really is your email so that I can send it, send you an email, let you know you won. Uh, that's that's really it. You're not joining any email list or anything like that unless you want to. It's just to get notified if you win. I tried to think of a, like a more fun giveaway this week, but I couldn't think of anything. Actually, if anybody has any ideas on how to like do fun giveaway ideas, like uh, I know we used to do the present. Um, that one was really fun. Stuff like that, but I haven't yet. Okay. Move in a little bit. There we go. So I actually, I'd love your guys' advice on this. 
Um, well, first off, I like cheese. I, do I have a ball winder? And if so, where did I get mine? I got a ball winder. I think I just got it on eBay. It, uh, it's just like a hand ball winder. You just do like that. Um, the, the winder part itself wasn't small enough for making like little miniature balls of yarn. Cause I really like to make my balls of yarn like very tiny. Um, so what I did was I got uh, a 3d design. I, I got a 3d printed one for the end of it to like replace the top so that I can make smaller balls of yarn. But anyhow, what I was going to say was, um, I want your advice because next week we're doing the Audrey two crochet along, uh, or not next. Yeah. Next week, not this Wednesday, but the Wednesday after where we're going to be crocheting Audrey two in the live stream. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish it in one live stream. So what I was thinking of doing was a crochet along, uh, a movie night crochet along afterwards. What do you guys think about that? Uh, for little shop of horrors. Now, what I'm a little worried about is finished being able to finish Audrey 2 and then like not having anything to crochet for the crochet along, but then I could make whatever I want. But I don't know. Do you guys like the idea of doing a movie night for Little Shop of Horrors at the end of the month? What is your plan? What 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 would what would you like? Rushana is making the ghost but can't keep up. Uh there is a video tutorial for each one of these patterns also, so you don't really have to keep up with the live stream. I try to crochet a little quicker in the live stream so that I can make everything uh, rather than doing a tutorial since I have tutorial videos for each one of them anyhow. So that's why you probably can't keep up, but uh, no worries. Like I can still help out if you have any questions. Hi, Merv. Hi, Ellie, Do Ellie Donnie. Welcome to the stream. I like the unicorn on your thumbnail, Ellie. Looks crocheted. Yeah, like the movie night idea. Love that movie. Okay, cool. Greetings from Turkey. Hello. Wow, you're so far away. From Paris. Bonjour, Mathilde. Math. Mathilde. Mathilde. I, I don't know how to say your name, but bonjour. Cava? Hola from Chile. Paula, hello. I want to start doing um, something else that I want to kind of focus on next year is uh, doing Spanish versions for the patterns, for the videos and stuff. But have no time to do that yet but I do want to add a thing on the website so that people uh, other people that don't just speak English can enjoy my patterns too tilt that down a bit okay next up is the okay white three with a one in between okay cava bien Mon français est pas, pas belle. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to say it's been a while, but it's been a while since I've spoken French. I've been uh, actually studying Japanese for the past month. In uh, I've been doing a Duolingo for Japanese, and it has been a lot of fun to remember all my Japanese. I studied Japanese for four years in high school, but that was high school, you know? I don't really remember it that well. I remember it a little bit, but not like that well. Hello from Illinois, but from Jordan. In Lebanon, wow. I like cheese, that would be super helpful. If you, um, can you email me at just louis at clubcrochet.com? Um, if you can help with doing Spanish translations, that would be super helpful.
Ooh, and Maltese translations. Yeah, that would probably be pretty nice, too. I really just want to get more translations in general. Jane! Oh, thank you so much! You can't stay much longer, but still, thank you very much, Jane. Let's see, what do we want? What do we... Let's put out... Let's put out an, uh, the other crow for you, Jane. And I'll give him a little witch hat. Or her a little witch hat. Actually, we'll, we'll do a brown witch hat since he's made in black anyway. Because I did a tutorial video recently for a witch hat. So I made a brown one. So he's got a brown witch hat. But yes, this little crow's coming out for you. Jane, uh, if you have a chance, if you're still in the chat, what would you like to name this crow? And whatever you end up naming it, um, someone write it down. I want to start keeping track of the names of our crows and our, our little characters that are out there. We'll put, we'll put acupuncture frog in front of your crow like that. Thank you for your donation though. I really appreciate that. If you'd like to donate, you can um, you can do so by going to clubcrochet.com slash tip uh, and I really do appreciate any kind of um, any kind of support there. I'm currently trying to like you know, don't tell them this, but I'm trying to quit my day job and crochet full-time because I actually have a full-time job outside of this I'm this close so all the donations are extremely helpful when it comes to that okay so we're on by the way if you're crocheting with me and you're like where is he I am on round eight of our uh, pinky crochet pattern Finding an email, it's just louis at clubcrochet.com. You can also find, if you go to clubcrochet.com, there should be a contact me form. Uh, that would also work pretty well. Pancake. <laughs> I like cheese, thinks that it should be named Pancake. Jane, if you're still in the chat, uh, what do you think about the name Pancake for <laughs> our little girl there? Because it's not bad. I think it's pretty good. But it's your decision. Coco, yes, I have made pirate hats. Check it out. Um, I actually have one right here. See? There's a little seagull that we made on a live stream with a pirate hat on. Um, there's a tutorial, actually. It's just clubcrochet.com slash pirate hat. Uh, honestly, a pirate hat would be great for your... If you want to do a pirate ghost, that'd be a great idea. It's midnight in Turkey. Oh, it's night in Turkey. It might be midnight, who knows. How's the weather here? It is incredible. It is like a 10 out of 10 day. I'm gonna go out and hang out on the beach probably afterwards. So I actually live in San Francisco on the beach. There's, um, there's nothing between us and the ocean. So I'm in a pretty cool spot where I can just walk out to the ocean, no shoes on, just walk straight onto the beach. Very nice. Gets a little cold sometimes, but it's very nice. Oh, dude, no worry, Johnny. Don't you do not need to donate again. <laughs> I appreciate your donation so much, but like, I totally get it. Thank you so much. Oh, chirp a little, thank you for more burbs. If you have a crow, even better. I actually don't think I have any more crows, but I do have a toucan. How do you feel about toucan? You like that, chirp a little? Cool. Well, we'll put out a toucan for you. This is for you, chirp a little. Another tutorial that I really need to just come out with is a toucan. I know, I know, I need to come out with toucans and so many different burbs. I really just want to do like a volume one, volume two for the burbs soon. So that guy, your toucan's going to be out there. I think we did name the toucan at one point, but I cannot remember what its name was. Bye, Matilda. Or, oh, Mathilde. Mathilde. Au revoir. Merci beaucoup. Yes, do all the Pac-Man ghosts. 
I need to do, uh, I have a Pac-Man somewhere, but I want to do a crochet tutorial for Pac-Man to go with these little Pac-Man ghosts. All right, I am just about done with the main part of our Pac-Man pattern. Just got to add our eyes. It's 1 a.m. in Turkey. Oh my gosh. So late. Except actually, maybe not that late because I usually stay up pretty late. Let's go. Um, I think we should go. Make him look. Let's make him look up so that he can look at the camera. So what? one of the things you can do with this pattern is here you see the white eyes. You can put the eyeball in like any of the stitches here to make him look different ways. You can make him cross-eyed or whatever. We're going to make him go looking up, though, so he can be looking at the camera. And maybe I'll do, maybe we could do something fancy for this guy to give him a costume even. But we'll see. After after we finish our other two ghosts, we will start adding costumes to them and see how far I can get before I am dead, just like our ghost. There. So now that when he's sitting down, he can be looking up at the camera. That would be cute. That would be cute. I do not have a tutorial for Stitch. Um, I try to avoid doing too many Disney tutorials because uh, I will get a cease and desist from Disney, and I'd rather not. So, yeah, I try to avoid Disney tutorials if I can. There are a few Stitch, uh, stitch pattern tutorials out there. From Lilo and Stitch, I mean. From other very talented crocheters. Good afternoon, Elizabeth. Welcome to the live stream. Wow, 90 people watching. Hello, 90 people out there. That is a lot. We seriously might hit 350 likes for the giveaway. We're already at 200, and we're like only an hour in. That's crazy. That's crazy. We only need 150 likes. We're more than halfway for the for our goal. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Cool. Oh, Emmy. Well, thank you. What what language do you speak? Let's see. Maybe. It looks like you have anime there. Do you speak Japanese? Nihongo ga. Hanasemasuka? Alright, so we're adding our little ten tentacles? I don't know, what would you call these on a ghost? They're not tentacles, they're like frills? What do ghosts have? On their feet. We are going to be doing a Pokemon, I think, next. Yeah, let's do a Pokemon next before we do Boo. So we're going to actually crochet Ghastly next. Kithiana. How do I get motivation to crochet? I'm all out here three weeks since the last crochet. Honestly, uh, so... I guess there's two ways I like to keep motivation for crochet if I'm starting to wane. Um, one is draw. The more I draw, the more things I'm like, oh man, I could turn that into crochet so easily. Um, two, I really like to um, to not crochet too much in the night. Because if I crochet like for five hours straight, like after this live stream, I might actually still crochet tonight. But usually I don't like to crochet too much more after the live stream because I'll get burnt out and I then I won't want to crochet the next day. So try not just try not to overdo it. Speak Spanish. Okay, well, hola, Emmy. Como estas? All right, so we are going to close this little pinky up now. Oh, <laughs> Merv. 
Gracias. I don't know if you speak Spanish, but gracias. Ninety-five people are watching. Yowza, Bowser. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm in a like a stadium or something. Don't do anything dumb, Lou. Don't make fart noises. Please, Lewis, don't make fart. <laughs> oh, Lewis, why'd you do a fart noise? There's all these people watching you. <laughs> I'm not crazy. You're crazy. Who said that? <laughs> oh, Patrice, thank you so much. You crocheting today, Patrice? If so, what you making? Or are you drawing, you painting? Might be a good day for painting. It seems like a good day for painting, doesn't it? I'd like to I like to try painting more often. I haven't painted in like like a year or so. But I do like to paint. I got a painting of a woggle up there. Of Erdl, my woggle. Ja, 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 ja. I love ja, 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 by the way. I think it's such a fun way to, like, <laughs> say ha. Huh? Ja, 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 ja. All right, Chirp a Little. Well, thank you so much for your donation, Chirp a Little. We'll have your little toucan friend. By the way, what did you name your toucan? I didn't see you name it. Bobby is crocheting some spiders. Freaking awesome. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. Sit up a little bit. A C to C? What is a C to C? A color to color? Like you're going from one color to the next? Maybe? Tully! I like Tully the Toucan. That's cute. Tully the Toucan. Someone get a screenshot of Tully and add it to our list. I don't have a list yet, but it would be nice to have a list. Thank you, Ellie. Okay. Our pinky is just about done. Need to stuff him up a little bit more. And we're going to be working on Ghastly next, actually. Aprende. Actually, let's use some of this. Oh, dude, thank you so much, Susanna. I appreciate that. I spent a long time on those beginner courses, so I really appreciate that. I really want to rework them next year so that they can be uh, for, like, TikTok and stuff, too. Just to help more people get interested in crochet. But I really appreciate that you uh, that people are still using them. All right, so that's a pretty good pinky, if you ask. If you ask me, what's the most toys I've made in a month? Oof. I mean, probably like a hundred. I'm gonna use my my old way to sew in t right now, just because it's a little quicker. Just barely quicker, though. All right. Let's move on to Monsieur Gasly. Gasly's a nice and easy pattern. He's basically just a ball with some eyeballs. 
And the fun part is we're going to use needle felting to add his his um, ectoplasm, I guess. We have a few other patterns. I have a few other Pokemon patterns on the website uh, for Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle, too. Little miniature. They're like this big versions of them that I really like. So if anybody wants to make more Pokemon, that is where you can go. But... Let's get started on Ghastly here. We got we got our classic ghost, we got Pinky. Where is my black yarn? Where did I put it? Ah! Headbutted my camera. Hold on, I think I dropped my yarn. Oh there it is. Yep. Okay, we'll name the hat the crow with no hat pancake. This is pancake. I should work on a crocheted Pikachu. I have not done yet that yet. Wow, sunshine, <laughs> sunshine made to close to three hundred mini minis one month. You are a wild child. Yeah, I mean, in a month, yeah, probably about 100, because that's only about like three or four a day. And that's easy for my little miniature crochets. Oh shoot, do we get a new club crochet member? I just saw a club crochet member change, hold on. We did! Christy, Christy01, thank you so much for becoming a club crochet member. For becoming a club crochet member, we're gonna put something out for you. Let's do, um, Let's do another frow. No, wait. Let's do not a frow. Let's do a. Let's do a cat. Oh, no. A mouse. Where did I put that mouse? Where is he? Hold on. I got a little miniature mouse somewhere. Might be in the other room, though. Well. Oh, here it is. Okay. This is for the new Club Crochet member. If you become a Club Crochet member during the live stream, uh, give me a sh let me know in the chat, or I'll ch I, I get like an email whenever I get a whenever a new member signs up. So hopefully I'll see it. But this is for you if you are in the chat. I don't know if you are. This is a mouse. Uh, another variation of the frog right here. The tutorial that uh, I just put in the rough draft. So this is for you. Um, what's your name? Christy01. I don't know if you're here in the chat or not, but if you are, thank you for becoming a Club Crochet member. I really appreciate it. Okay. Now on to Monsieur Ghost. Oh, yeah, that makes sense, uh, Sayaka. You no, no need becoming a Club Crochet member if, you're, um, if your aunt already has one. Okay, and that's also way cool. Tell your aunt she is a very cool aunt. We're gonna start by making our eyeballs. We're eyeballs for our ghost, for our ghastly. Ruben became a member yesterday. Well, I'll put something out for you, Ruben. Thank you for becoming a member yesterday. Hold on, let me see. Here, we'll put a frog out there for you. This one's a little bit taller of a frog. A taller frog. This is for you, Ruben. Thank you for becoming a member yesterday. I'm sorry I wasn't streaming yesterday to help you or to say thank you live. But now I am. The Witch Crow Sybil, the sleepy spellcaster. I love it, Jane. Very creative. Sybil, the sleepy spellcaster. <laughs> Sybil does look very sleepy. So we are doing the eyeballs for our ghastly now, if you're wondering. Hello, Stardenst. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the channel if you're new to the channel too. By the way, if you're new to the channel, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? You should be subscribed. Ay, ay, ay. 
<laughs> hey, 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 what are you doing? Why aren't you subscribed, eh? Am I supposed to chain one? I don't think I am, actually. Okay. I think I'm just supposed to... Pull through. Let's try just cutting and pulling through. See, so essentially for the eyeballs, you make half a circle like this. And then you just sew it onto the face. And then we add a little, um, we'll add a little thread for, for the iris of the eyeball. But I'm gonna make two of these. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. Well, Coco, if you can, that would be great. If you can't, I totally get it. No worries. Feel free just to crochet the live ones and like the videos. That's help. That supports the channel too. Hi, Beatriz. See you, Takayaki. Have a nice sleep. Sweet dreams, don't let the bed bugs bite. You know, all that fun jazz. Or let them bite. Tell them, bring it on, bed bugs. I could take you. My favorite Halloween movie is probably. I do like Nightmare Before Christmas. That is a very good Halloween movie. I'm thinking though. There's our eyeballs for our gas leaf. Put these to the side and we'll start working on the body. Let's see. Maybe. Oh, hi, Catherine. Welcome to the stream. Blanca, thank you for subscribing. Same as Beatriz. Thank you for subscribing. I don't know if you're in the chat or not, but thank you. <laughs> LA Church of Perch for Life. <laughs> Dude, Ellie, thank you. Wow. Good timing, too. Okay, let's see. What does Ellie want? Oh, she said she's Church of Perch for Life, so let's put out a burb for her. Let's put out this fancy owl that I don't have a tutorial for. Fancy owl with glasses for Ellie. Thank you for your support, Ellie. It is a burb, obviously. It's going to be right here. Hooting and hollering. Probably telling us how to crochet. Oh, Van Helsing. Oh my God, I remember that. Do you remember, um, what was that movie? Uh, uh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Do you remember that movie? I loved that movie. It's not good, but it also is kind of good. Van Helsing's a great one, though. The New Adams Family. You know what? The New Adams Family was pretty good. I really liked it, actually, a lot. Um, I thought the animation really added a lot to uh, the characters. I liked it. Oh, thank you, Elizabeth. I'm very proud of that owl. It's got some fun color changes in it, too. All right, so I'm on, I just finished round two of our uh, go, our ghastly. Dude, for some screen. Oh my gosh, Ellie, 
Thank you, a double double donation by Ellie. Your niece wants to pick a critter for some screen time, please. You want me to pick a critter, or would or does your niece want to pick the critter? Because if your niece wants to pick the critter, you can do that too. If she has a uh, one that she really wants. Does does your niece have a have a preference or not? Is the real question here? You let me know. I'll give you. I'll give you. I don't know. I'll give you a few seconds to, to let me know. Otherwise, I'll put out another burb for you. A different owl, maybe. She wants to pick. Okay, great. Which? What would she? What? What? What kind of thing do you want? I got a lot of different crocheted stuff near me. So any preference, I might have something for her. What is my favorite book? Uh, okay, so Camille said, my sister and I were part of a crowd of people who would, oh, she wants a frog. Okay, I can get a frog. Let's see here, let's see. Oh, where, where, oh, where do I keep all my frogs? Where are all of, oh, oh my gosh. She's gonna love this. Ellie, this is, this is for your niece. This is a frog I made uh, yesterday. Isn't she just the cutest frog in the world? I even gave her a little bow. She's so sweet. Give her little eyelashes. This is for you, this is for Ellie's niece. Thank you again for your support. I hope she likes her little frog. It, what does she like to name her little frog? You let me know. Whatever she wants to name it. And we'll we'll put her with the rest of the frogs. She'll be the leader. She can lead the frogs for right now. <laughs> so much cute. I hope she likes her little frog friend. So Yaka wants to call her Susie, and I think that's a pretty good name. But I think Ellie's niece gets to decide the name. Oh yeah, sorry, I meant to a answer that question. Um, so. Uh, Camille says that they used to uh, line up to buy books. I used to do that too um, for Harry Potter actually. I, I would line up to uh, to get a books. To get a books? Uh oh. Hold on. My iPad is dying. Susie is the perfect name. Great. Your Frau is now Susie. Susie the Frog. There we go. Oh, I'm sorry. Siyaka is the niece. Oh, <laughs> right. That's... Oh, my God. That is so... Can I just say? That is the sweetest... Uh... Uh... Like, family time ever. I love that. What a great way to... Like, spend time with your... With your aunt. That is so cool. Uh, my favorite book is um, The Martian Chronicles by uh, um, by Ray Bradbury. That's my favorite book. Yes, I remember lining up for Harry Potter books with my mom. And we would do a like we would spend the night and wait till midnight and then get the book at midnight and then we'd read the first chapter and go to bed. Oh, I remember that very vividly. That's so nice. Oh, we got another new member. Alexis. Yes, Alexis. I think it'll show up right here in a second. But Alexis, if you are in the live stream, thank you so much for becoming another member. Let's put out for you... Let's put out for you another burb. 
Another owl burb. Boom. There's another owl burb for you, Alexis. That's going to be us for Alexis. The two owls hanging out. This one, I need to turn its head up so he can be watching us. Thank you for becoming a member. I don't know when that's going to show up on the screen there, but hopefully soon. One second. Let me... Need to... Uh, the tutorial for the frog just came out as a rough draft. Um, so ask your aunt for her login and uh, check out the rough draft patterns. Um, I actually made a really easy link. It's just clubcrochet.com slash frog, F-R-A-W-G. Should take you directly to the rough draft for that. Yes, this does sound like Luigi's Mansion music. Oopsies, Ben. Earthquake. <laughs> Okay. I'm trying to sit up straight so my back doesn't hurt. Oopsies. I think I'm going to have myself here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, man. Almost got ahead of myself. Well, I did, I guess, a little bit. Right? Yes, now we need our pink yarn, which, again, did I just... Oh, I see it. I see it. Oh, can I get it? That's a great question. I don't know where Jules is. She, uh, I don't know. Hopefully she'll come in and say hi soon. I know she's knitting. She's probably got a couple of cats on her, which is why she doesn't want to move. Hello, the creative sheep. Welcome. Ah, uh, Shannon's supposed to be studying, studying anatomy. What, what are you studying today for anatomy? <laughs> we'll quiz you. Well, the chat will quiz you. What is the thing that you see out of? Now there's, there's a quiz. It's a trick question. Maybe, or maybe it's not a trick question. Shannon, you better know this answer. Oh wait, we're supposed to start with white. The muscles in the nervous system. Yep, that's what you look out of. Good job. Good job. You're uh, clearly, you know, you know your anatomy. <laughs> no, too late. Can't change your answer. <laughs> Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Now there's a question. I think the answer to that is the uh, the egg because the a, a thing that was close to a chicken gave uh, laid an egg that turned into a chicken because of evolution technically the corny I guess okay <laughs> gonna get all technical on us now Oh my gosh, Johnny, that must be a huge bunny if you just finished the bunny ear. You've been crocheting that for, like, two hours. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Oh my gosh, we have over 100 people watching! Hello, everybody out there! 
if you are new, if you haven't, uh, if you haven't, if you like just popped into the stream, join the giveaway. All you got to do is check out the link. It should be like the top link in the description and you can win a free crochet kit. Uh, I am giving away a crochet kit. So all you got to do is put in your email. Uh, I won't use it for anything other than to let you know if you won. But yes, if you are new here and please like this video, subscribe to the channel. If this video gets over 350 likes, I'm going to do another giveaway next live stream. That's why we're doing a giveaway. This live stream is because it got over the last live stream got over 300. So I'm up in the up in the ante. She says she doesn't know if she can print the rough drafts. I mean, you can print them if you want. Just please provide feedback. Um, that's the main point of the rough drafts is I'm looking for feedback on patterns before I come out with them. So that can be just what is your opinion on it to if you found an actual mess up or if there if you think there's an easier way to explain something, stuff like that. All right, so six... Seven and then four pink. Whoa, we're at 250 likes almost. We're only 100 likes away. That is insane. That is insane. Insane in the membrane. Insane, it's got no brain. Oh, it's all supposed to be black slash pink, which means... So when I do color changes, sometimes in the in the patterns, I'll say like, this is a black slash pink stitch, which means that the black is on the top and the pink is on the bottom. We have, hello, come on. What took you so? We were we've been waiting to say hi. Everybody's like, I've been enjoying my time. <laughs> hello. This is Jules. Where am I? Oi, there I am. Oh, I For, found my light. <laughs> for anybody that doesn't know, this is my girlfriend, Jules. Hi. Uh, and for anyone who doesn't know, I knit, not crochet, Yes, really. she is the knitter. I, I have, am the crocheter. I have made two crocheted things, but that's it. Yeah, I need to work on... I need to help you out with that pattern still. Which one? The, the one I was writing? Mm-hmm. The crochet one. Yes, I was. I was writing one. And then you gave me a, something to do, and then I don't think I did it. Yeah. I think you wanted me to make multiple sizes or something. And I was like, oh, no. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> It was so long ago. Hi, everyone. Hello, hello. What are you guys talking about? Well, currently we were talking about, let's see, what were we talking about last? Well, we have over, well, we had over 100 people watching what? at one time, so that was pretty cool. That's cool. Yeah. Um, let's see. We were Can talking you... about our favorite books oh, okay. for a while. Can you hear the planes outside? No, are they flying? The, oh, yeah. The blue, angels blue angels are out there. Well, I, they might not be blue angels. They look a little different. They have, they look different to me. They have uh, taller fins in the back. They look more like um, commercial flights, but shrunken huh. to me. They didn't have the blue angel markers on them. And they were flying in weird formations, but definitely in formation. So, I don't know. Maybe hmm. they were just having fun out there. Yeah. <laughs> that is pretty know. cool, though. Yeah, they flew over at least four times. Hi. Johnny wants to know, I think she's asking you if you have a If I have a channel? channel? Or no, no, no. She is, She's asking if she can share her creations with you. Oh, so, yeah. Well, you definitely can. There's a bunch of different yeah. ways. There's a Discord channel, uh, just clubcrochet.com slash Discord. That's a really cool Discord, too. Yeah, it's a great Discord. Um, there's, you can uh, post them on Instagram and just tag Club Crochet. You can post them uh let's see where's the other oh there's a facebook group that i see that uh we check out mm -hmm. i still get notifications for that i mean yeah you're a moderator on it i'm a moderator on it but uh, honestly by the time i see them uh, moderators have already addressed them so yeah usually i'm not not the moderator <laughs> yeah um i'm knitting uh, a cardigan out there that uh i'm really excited to finish so that's why i was out there just like knitting away yeah she really wants to finish it tonight mm -hmm. i do i'm not going to but i want to she does crochet a little bit but not nearly as much she doesn't crochet amy groomy no i i've crocheted a cowl and a shawl nothing tiny a shawl and a cowl no 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 no
I'm good, Lizzie. How are you? Oh, oh. just finished a trick or treating ghost. That's cool. Oh, perfect for the for the challenge. But by the way, if you haven't noticed yet, uh, we're doing a club crochet challenge. Check it out, clubcrochet.com/challenge. Yep. More info on the Instagram and Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Yes. You're crochet we're crocheting ghosts, obviously. And, and you have four ghost patterns, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So you can use any of the ghost patterns. Uh, you can alter them or give them costumes or make Add little something. sets for them. Whatever you want. Just any kind of picture of your crocheted ghosts to enter to win. So there's which ones? You got Pac-Man, Ghastly. Yeah, we got Standard. We Pinky from Pac-Man. Oh, I'm sorry. Pinky so. from Pac-Man. Ghastly from Pokemon. Mm -hmm. uh, Boo from Mario. Mm -hmm. And what's the fourth one? Uh, gas. Oh, uh, I say gas. Oh, just a classic. Just ghost. classic, standard haunting. Your, your standard, kitchen. your standard haunting ghost. Yeah, yeah. Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Brazil. Hi, Brazil. <laughs> cats? Huh? How many cats do we have? We have got two cats. And they are both sleeping with me in the living room. Not on me, thank goodness. It's very warm here today. Oh, I, I had a feeling they were going to be on you. So. Oh, do you want your heating thing? Yes, please. Okay. I'm going to go heat up a rainbow for his back. You'll see what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. My, I need to get a new chair like super duper bad. I just keep kind of like, I don't know, not ordering a new chair because they're really expensive. <laughs> but my back kills me after a while of doing these these streams. And, and it's a bummer because it's like I, I'm not going to stop because I really like I really like this. So I'm not going to stop live streaming, uh, and I just got to deal with back pain until I get a new back. Right? That's how it works. Get a new back. And then everything will go well. <laughs> but yes, a little heated rainbow helps out a lot. My God, we're already almost at 350 likes. That's, I don't believe you. That's crazy. That's crazy, you're crazy. Oh my gosh. Bobby. It's my Bob's Burgers impression. Bobby. My middle name, by the way, Bobby. So what channel can I send pictures to Bunny to? Discord, yeah. Check out the Discord channel. Oh, on Discord. It's the um, Look What I Made. That's what the channel in Discord is called, that you can post pictures. And then just tag me. I'm just at Louis Loops there. I'll see it. I'll check it out after the stream. But I do want to see your bunny. Because, like, yeah, if you've finished an ear after, like, that long. Well, it's not done yet, though, right? Did you finish your bunny already? Did you all you need to do is an ear? Is it just a bunny it's ear? Is it like a Lucky's bunny? A Lucky Bunny's ear? Is that a thing? I got a lucky bunny ear. All right, so we got one eye sewn on. I also did the tooth while I was at it just because I wanted to. Get it over with. I think I need to pull this pink yarn a little bit. Bye, Rebecca. Thanks for joining. I'll see you next week. Uh, next live stream is going to be on October 20th, at uh, which is a Wednesday, at 4 p.m. We're going to be making uh, Pacific Standard Time. We're going to be making Audrey 2, a.k.a. the Carnivorous Alien Plant. That's what I call it on the website to not get uh, in trouble. Not that I said that out loud or anything. So one eye is sewn on. I've got to add the iris still to it, but I think it looks pretty good. We'll do the other one right there. But I think I want to try to pull this over to the other side so that both faces of the eye are facing the right way, you know? Because, like, if you look at this one, it's got, like, it's facing us, kind of. Like, the stitches, it's, like, the right side of the stitches. So this would be, like, the right side of the stitches, and this would be the wrong side of the stitches. It'd be a lot easier to sew it on with the wrong side of the stitches facing us, but it won't look, it'll look just a little bit off. Oh, thank you. Rainbow for Louie. Rainbow, rainbow. Yeah, is that where your back hurts? Yes. Yeah, the, he has no support in his chair in that part of his back. It is a garbage chair. 
How, how old is it? Very, very old. It yeah. was my grandpa's. Yeah. It's got a bunch of my grandpa's butt stains all over it. <laughs> all the stuffing has been pushed out through holes that Jimbo yeah. has made. Yeah. Jimbo loves this chair, too. I know. I like it, too. I like I like the look of it a lot. It's just mm -hmm. not a good chair. It's a bad chair. Not for your back. No. Bad chair. Bad, bad chair. Bad chair is bad. Oh, I just heard on Discord. I think that was probably... Oh, is that a Discord Jane. notification? I think that was what that sound is. Well, cool. It's probably Johnny. I'm going to go make mac and cheese because I haven't eaten yet. Okay, have fun. Forgot to eat because I was crafting. Make, make oh. a little extra for me. I'd like some mac and cheese after this. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. That's how Bye, it always goes. Bye, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Dude, Cam. Heck, yeah, we do crochet live streams. I do them every week. Welcome to the channel. You should subscribe. Or else... Or else, Cam. We'll, we will find you. All of us. All of us. We'll, we'll go, we'll put out a search party just for you, Cam. And not in a good way. We will cover you in jello. Raw jello. Not even cooked yet. Just granular jello. And you'll be like, no, I've got jello all over me. It's kind of our thing. We really like to cover uh, people in just raw jello on this channel. It's like, not a big deal. It's just like kind of our thing. It's like whatever. <laughs> if you haven't, if you haven't been able to tell yet, I am a crazy person. You can probably tell because of the glasses though, you know? Glasses tell you that that's a crazy person. I was just crocheting. My glasses were down here. I don't know if anybody noticed. They get very low. Well, congratulations, Ruben. Ruben just launched his uh, crochet blog. You said something about a pumpkin pattern coming out, so good luck. October 30th, I think you said your pumpkin pattern's coming out. If I read that correctly. You're having a moment, yes. Yes, I'm having a moment. A jello moment. Uh, what did you miss about jello? Everything. You missed everything. And it's really, you're real, it's really embarrassing that you missed it all. Oh, this, this, this heating thing on my back is so nice, but it's also like so warm. And it's already warm in here. <laughs> I'm gonna melt, but I'm gonna melt happy. <laughs> Great, we're all crazy here. It's great. It's wonderful. We're all crazy. Just like different levels of crazy. Some people are more crazy than others. Some people are less crazy than others. I saw a really crazy person here like a couple of days ago. Seriously crazy. I felt really bad for him actually. Just letting you know, I guess. All right, so look at the eyes. They're almost done. We just need to add irises to them. Raw jello, raw jello. Everybody eat raw jello. Raw jello is good for you. It, it's really good. You put it in your wounds. This is a little fact. I'm a scientist. I would know. If you take raw jello and you rub it into a wound, it's really good for you. You definitely should do it, and this is... N Okay, wait, I should be careful. This is sarcastic. Don't raw, rub raw jello in, in wounds. I dare you. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. <laughs> Welcome, Binks. Who's Binks? All right, so how are we adding these eyes? Okay, we wanna add one there. Raw jello is good for you, said no one ever, except for me, a scientist, a scientist. I am a scientist. I love sky -ikens.
The part of this video where we crocheted Ghastly got a little crazy. I understand. I'm sorry about that. But also, I'm not sorry about that. Look at his eyeball! That is a ghastly eyeball, if you ask me. Not that you were, but if you were to ask me, that's what a ghastly eyeball looked like. Alright. That. One more. A crocheist. Crocheantist. Hi, iced tea squid. Are you made of iced tea or do you just really like iced tea? I really think it could be either one. The picture tells me nothing. Do you cook jello? Yes, you do cook jello. I actually really like to cook jello. MM, yes, that is a frog. It's actually a frog. That's what I call them. They're not frogs, they're frogs. With an AW instead of an O. Little frogs. Pattern coming out soonish for the frogs. Dude, Creative Enforcer wants to learn how to crochet. This is so cool. Just subs from Denmark. Well, thank you so much for subscribing, first off. And second off, uh, if you want to learn to crochet, I have a tutorial series that I made. It took me a long time, and I'm, I'm really proud of it. It's at clubcrochet.com. Or no, I'm sorry. It's at crocheting101.com. That is my crochet tutorial. So uh, it, it's a really in-depth series that helps you learn how to crochet. So check it out there. It's very cool. I'm very, very, very proud of it. And if you want to check out some early, quick, easy patterns, um, either try out this ghost pattern. I designed it for beginners. It's just at clubcrochet.com slash ghost. And then there's an octopus pattern that I'm really proud of. It's great for beginners. Just clubcrochet.com slash octopus. Oh, we got a new member? Yes, we did. JS or Binksy? I don't remember which one there. But thank you so much for becoming a Club Crochet member. Let's put something out for you. Let's see. Oh, we were just talking about octopi. Let's put out a cute little octopi with a top hat. Or, yes. This is for you. This is for the new Club Crochet member. If you want to become a Club Crochet member right now, I'll put out another crocheted thing for you. We're going to put this octopus with the top hat right there. And this is the octopus pattern. Um, it's designed for beginners with extra tutorials in mind for, like, uh, for making it a little bit more complicated. So you can, like, slowly, you know... You make your first octopus without the mouth and the eyes, just like little eyes instead, and then you move up, you add eyes, and blah, blah, blah. You'll get the gist. You're going to love it. You're going to love the way you look. I guarantee it. Oh, Binks, you are in the chat. Thank you for becoming a member. I really appreciate it. Are you JS or is that someone else? Do we get an, like two new members? Yes, we did. We got another one, JS. Thank you so much, JS. Another person. Let's put out a, oh, let's put out a cat for her. So you see we got the frogs right here. And then using the frog pattern, I upgraded it to make a mouse. Again, the, I'm gonna come out with these eventually. And then I also made a cat. <laughs> this is a cat, it's a little kitty cat. But I also, I tr I'm gonna use this leg pattern and like instead make the head up here and do a different kind of cat. 
but I do like this little miniature cat also. This mouse is made with no sewing on whatsoever. The nose, the ears, the tail, the legs, and the eyes are all made without any sewing together. Isn't that amazing? I'm so proud of that. I gotta do the tutorial for that soon. Okay. I am using, um, I think I'm using Lily Sugar and Cream Yarn right now. Usually what I use. Let's add just a little bit of stuffing. Just a tad bit. And then we will do our last round of crocheting for our um, gasoline, and then we'll add our needle felted back to him too. I think it's just a decrease, yeah. Two, three, yeah, four, five, Nathan Fillion, that's my uh, SNL announcer announcing Nathan Fillion as the host. With your host, Nathan Fillion. How long does one take? Asks Lexi and Daisy Gaming. Well, I have, I started crocheting these ghosts in the beginning of this live stream. I started at one. I really started crocheting probably at like 115. And we're about to finish our third and it's only three. So I would say maybe about like half an hour, maybe 45 minutes each. Some are quicker than others. Uh, the ghost was really quick. Yeah, something like that. Because they're so small, there's only like so many stitches you could possibly put in there. So they're pretty quick to make. Uh, and I put all the patterns here. If anybody wants to go to the patterns, they're at clubcrochet.com slash ghosts right there. Pinching the end of his eyes so he has more pointed eyes. And let's fix this mouth a little bit. Like that. And then we'll just sew it closed and then I'll add the little felt on the outside. What is the giveaway for? The giveaway is going to be for a crocheted ghost kit. Um, it'll include all the materials that we're using today to make your own ghost. Um, and it's actually going to be a gift card in the shop that you can use to purchase a ghost kit or a different kit. So if you want to instead get the Audrey 2 kit to be prepared for next week, um, you can do that. Or you can get uh, a Club Crochet membership. Or you can get really whatever you want. A burb kit. There's, gonna, there's a bunch of burb kits kits online so whatever you want by the way let me show you the Audrey 2 before I start our needle felting part of our ghastly here so this is what we'll be making next week and I'll show this again at the end of the stream but and we're gonna choose the winner at the end of the stream too by the way but this is what we are um, making next week Audrey 2 AKA a carnivorous alien plant. Um, and the kits come with the pot and everything you need. There's like seven or eight different colors of yarn in there, stuffing, a wire for the, for his little neck thing part. Yeah, it is a very cool pattern. I'm super proud of it. It just came out on the website. Um, you can find it at clubcrochet.com slash Audrey, or you can just uh, uh, go to the website and browse and you can find it there as well. Brand stinking new. Uh, I was, I think I was like 14, maybe 15 when I started to learn to crochet. Maybe older. I was in high school. I think I was sophomore year of high school. So maybe 15, probably 15 is better. Um, okay. So now all I got to do is add our needle felt on the back of them here. So we're gonna take this needle out of our frog. This is a uh, felting needle. It comes with the crochet kit for the ghosts. 
Um, it's very, very sharp. Ow. And so what you do is you take this wool, this this raw, this is just raw, raw wool, and we're going to felt it onto the back. Wow. If we do that, he'll look like a, he'll look like a, like a 70s ghastly or something. 70s pop star. So we don't need that much. We only need a little bit. So we're just going to take out like, maybe like this. Start with that. I'm just going to kind of spread it out a little bit. We're going to place it where we want it on its head. Actually, I like it like this. Yeah, like that. And then we're just going to start felting it on there with this needle. All you have to do is place it in where you want it to be. And then this has little tiny barbs on it so that when you poke it in, it pulls a little bit of that wool with it. Just a little bit. And it connects it to the to the amigurumi. So you just need to poke the ghastly a bunch. To get the needle in there. Which one is the easiest to make? The easiest to make is just the regular ghost. This guy right here. And that's the free tutorial. Just clubcrochet.com slash ghost. Oh, and by the way, we're doing a challenge right now. I know I've mentioned this like a million times, but it's been a second. Uh, the brand new Club Crochet Challenge just launched. All you have to do is crochet a ghost in, uh, and give it a costume or just take a picture of a crocheted ghost. It can be any one of the four ghost patterns on the website. You can remake it yourself. You can uh, use our design as like a base and then make your own kind of ghost with it or give them a little costume or give them a little set to do and then just take a picture and then me and coffee and crochet designs and some other moderators we're all going to choose our top four submissions and then put it out for a vote and then everyone will vote on which ghost is their favorite which picture is their favorite and then the winner will win some money um, you can learn all about it at clubcrochet.com slash uh, challenge or just go to the home screen and you'll I have a thing there for it I love how his hair is like all wild. Let's get it like a little bit down. Oh yeah, the Discord chimes are you? Yeah. Oh, you can hear them. I just I'm sorry. Here, let me I forgot that you can hear those. Here, I'll mute this one. But I do want to see the the bunny real quick. Oh, that's a cute bunny. Oh my gosh, what is that? Is that an axolotl? Dude. Oh my gosh. There's some really incredible ones here. Okay. Let's keep making our ghastly. I think we need to give him a bit of a haircut here. Ooh, I don't know if that was a good idea. Oh, it's okay. We'll just pull him out. Pull some of it out. Gaslight's really not that tough. It's just like um, the the crocheting part of the gaslight is really easy. It's the felt this part that's a little tricky. It's not that it's necessarily tricky. It's just like I don't know. It's really fun though. I really like I really like needle felting. I want to start incorporating it more into my amigurumi. Yeah, we gave him a flat top, yeah. There. I'm just gonna twist some of it like this. Give him more defined little wisps. 
and then I might add a little bit more needle felt to them. I don't know if I like that one. It's not bad though. I think I just want to add a little bit more on the left side. And maybe a little bit more right here. So we'll grab a little bit more. It's nice because you can just continuously add more or yeah, it's kind of hard to take stuff away, but it's it's really easy to cover it up with more. So I want to do just a little right there like that, basically. Maybe like that. Yeah, just watch your fingers, exactly what Sin just said. Because these needles will hurt because of the barbs on them it like extra hurt it extra hurt trust me I, I have poked myself a few times and it is not fun I should not have done that flat top thing though. I'm still trying to fix that. Okay. How do we like this wispiness? That's pretty good. Actually, I really like that. Hope you like it too. Let's maybe we could just do break it up a little bit. I like it. Ghastly is done. I'm calling it. Look at all this. I don't know if you can see it, but there's so much purple right there. And, and we have enough for another one if I wanted to. This is actually, by the way, the yarn that I'm currently using is actually a crochet kit. So this is actually one of the ghost kits that you can win. It includes this needle. Okay, back to crocheting here. Um, what is next? Uh, next up is Boo! From, uh, Mario. So we need a white yarn. Okay. The, the felt, how does the felt stay? So what, how the felt stays is that this needle let me see if I can get like a better view of this. Let me zoom in big time. Okay, so you see those, there we go. So you see those little barbs on the edge of those needles? It's got like little tiny barbs on them. And what this does is the needle pokes straight into the amigurumi and these little barbs pull a little bit of that felt into the body of the, of the, um, the amigurumi, of like the fibers of the yarn and it like sticks it to the yarn. But when you pull it out, it doesn't pull those felts back out. It like keeps them in there. So the more times you do that, the more of those little fibers get jammed into the into the stitches. So that is how needle felting works. Um, it is very cool. I like it a lot. Okay. I think that's back to focus, but I'm not totally sure. All right. Yes, just watch your fingers. Okay, so when we're making boo now. Yeah, dumb uh uh Ruben, if you really if you don't want to submit your picture on any of those places, um you can submit it. You can just email me it if you really don't want to submit on any of those places. So you could just email us at contact at clubcrochet.com and we'll we'll put it in with the rest of the submissions. It just needs to have a name and stuff like that. Oopsies. For some reason, my chat isn't updating. Oh, there we go. 
Oh, we cracked our hands at the same time. That's because we're awesome, Johnny. We're just super cool. Yes, I like Boo the best too. I'm going to start. So you can do the tail two different ways. So let me show you. This is the easy way to do the tail. It just, he just gets this little tiny boop little tail. Um, so this is the easy way to do the tail. Uh, you can do it while you're crocheting so you don't have to sew anything on. But we're going to be doing our tail differently so I can sew on a tail instead. Just because I want to. Just because I want to. All right. Oh, the audio stopped. Did we finish the both songs? We did. I'm just going to restart. Actually, you know what? Let's go to new music. Let's go to fall music. Great. Okay, and what? there was something else I wanted to do. Oh, I want to see how many likes we have. How many likes are we at? 290. That is great. Okay, so we only need 60 more. Yeah, 60 more likes and we will do another giveaway next live stream. And that can happen during the stream or after it. It doesn't have to happen live. Johnny, thank you. Johnny supports for an Three buckaroos! You said you weren't gonna you weren't gonna donate. You didn't have to do that. You didn't have to do that, but I appreciate that you did do that. Um, let's put out Let's put out something for you. We got a little bit of a burbs situation going on, so maybe we keep going with the burbs or maybe we do I'm just gonna reach into the Halloween patterns and see where we're at. See what we got. How about, how about this, Johnny? A little pumpkin for you. We will put this little pumpkin upon the head of this, of this owl. No, upon the head of this mouse. Or we'll put the mouse on top of the pumpkin. Yes, let's do that. The mouse is on the pumpkin. Just like a fairy tale says. What fairy tale? The one I just made up. Thank you, Johnny. You really didn't have to do that, but I really appreciate it. Yeah, you couldn't, you couldn't. <laughs> it was the fist cracking, the fist bump. It all had to come together. One, two, three. Okay. So we're gonna make Boo, and then we're gonna make some uh, customizations on our crochet dudes too. As add a top hat, things like that. Ooh. Hello from Peru. Oh, you're good, Jana. Welcome to the stream. We're working on, we just started Boo, so you're at the perfect timing. We're crocheting a bunch of ghosts today. All right. Ice tea squid. I'm not selling them, but I guess I could. Four. All right. The the problem with this complicated tail is it's uh, the one that you sew on. Is it 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 is more difficult. It's like way more difficult to crochet this tail. But. I prevail. Honestly, Ruben, probably because we're talking about the likes. People people seem to sometimes dislike things when you mention that there's likes. <laughs> but it's okay. It is all good. I know, right, Jonna? It's crazy. It's the goal. I think the goal. It is crazy that we have so many people watching right now. Hello, everybody around the world. Joining in on the stream. 
increase and then we'll just do a single crochet and then a slip stitch oh no simply blueberry bless you it is all good lexi all right so we got our tail made nice and easy Hello, Emily. Oh, shoot, we got a new member. Yes, we did. Her neck. Dra her neck. Thank you so much for becoming a Club Crochet member. Let's put out for you. Let's put out a. Let's put out a burb. Let's put out a burb. I like burbs. You like burbs. He, she, it like burb. We're going to go with a macaw, another burb pattern that I'm still dragging my feet on. But yes, another burb pattern that I need to work on. And he's got a thing connected to his butt. I, I don't know if I mentioned this, but there's magnets in all their butts so that they can like um, perch on anything metal. But this is out for you. Thank you for becoming a Club Crochet member. I really, really appreciate it. You're helping me make my dream come true. He's like that. So he's looking up a little bit. Simply Bluebird, thank you. Ice Tea Squid is in New York. We are in San Francisco, a whole country away from you. Not a country, but you know, on the other side. But yes, we are in San Francisco right now. I am in San Francisco, I should say. Maybe some other people are too. Okay, so now we are working on the body of Boo. Boo! Ruben is in New Zealand and it's tomorrow. <laughs> That's cool. Ooh. Classic Louie. Here we go. I might be able to get over here too. Oh no. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bobby's in Tennessee. You're the only ten I see, Bobby. Night, Lizzie. Thanks for joining. It was good to see you again. All right, so yes, we are on to round two for Mr. Boo. Hello, Blue Moon Raven 31. Welcome to the live stream. I can't believe we had so many people watching this whole time. This is. I think this is the most we've ever had watching live, con like continuously throughout the stream. This is amazing. You guys all rock. Thank you so much for making my Sunday so great. I appreciate it quite a lot. Thank you, Kylie. You're so nice. How do you attach eyes? You know what? I'll show you in just a second, Axolotl. That's an adorable Axolotl in your picture, by the way. Well, Blue Moon Raven, if you want some extra help, I have tutorials at crocheting101.com and uh, a great amigurumi to start with since you already kind of know how to crochet is the octopus or this ghost right here that I made in the beginning. Are there any rules for the Look What I Made channel? No, it just has to be crochet. Well, I don't even know if it has to be crochet. It'd be nice if it was crochet, but I guess it doesn't really have to be. Um, but no, there's no real rules. It doesn't have to be a club crochet pattern to post there. Just whatever you want. Yeah. I love looking at them though. Some people make some seriously incredible, like insane things in there. 
Okay, Vana, thank you for coming in and saying hello. Hello. Ooh, I don't know if you can hear that, but that was the, the jets were flying over. We have, um, every October we do, they do the Fleet Week is what they call it. It's just a bunch of airplanes that do tricks over San Francisco. And so you can see them from pretty much everywhere in the city. You can just see planes doing, like, crazy flips and flying in formation and stuff like that. So that is what's going on right now. And it is very cool. It's so cool to see, like, four, um, four airplanes all flying together, like, you know, in formation. So it'll be, like, four planes flying, like, let's use these eyes as examples, like, super duper close. Like, within a foot of each other. Just, like, that close to each other. All just flying and, like, so cool. I am a Capricorn. I don't know what that means, but that is what I am. Um, you can credit if you'd like to. I mean, it'd be nice if you credited people, but it's okay. No one's going to be checking you out, like, if you don't. Oh, cool. By the way, hi, Tassilarian. I think I saw you earlier, and I don't know if I said hello, but hello. Yes, Crow Burb tutorial coming ASAP. Okay, we are on to round six. Round six is the most complicated round for this pattern, so bear with me. Okay, seven and eight. Um, Lexi, if you make the ghost, do you want me to credit? Yes, if you post it on anywhere other, I mean, you can post on Discord, that would be nice to get credit there. Um, but, uh, you can also post on, um, if you post on Instagram, tag us, especially if you're doing it for the challenge. There we go. So we're making the little, his little wingies things here. The tiniest, idiest, bit, bittiest of maroon for this guy's mouth. And five of these. little gums now. Lorray, let's see, where's your question? Lorray, I didn't see your question. What what was your question? Oh there wait. Question is there adaptive equipment for those with vision issues and hand muscles so that you can continue crocheting? Hmm, that's a great question. I am not totally sure. I do know for hand uh there is something because I used to uh, in high school, I would crochet beanies so often that I was starting to get car carpal tunnel in my hand, like right here. So what, uh, there's like sleeves that you put on. They're like little, they're basically gloves, but they hold your hand like really tightly so you can't really turn it that much. So you can't really use your wrist very much, but you don't need your wrist too much for depending on like what you're making. Um, so I know there's hand things there. Eyes, um, I'm not sure about eyes. Uh, 
you can try using magnifying glasses or cameras like the one I'm using right now can really help me out. Even just using your iPhone camera and setting it up as a, uh, like on a tripod, that might help a lot. Hope that helps out. If anybody else has any tips, let me know. Ice tea squid, I am Louie. That is my name. Okay, so now I'm on. Wait a second, did I mess up somewhere? Let's count my stitches just in case. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I did, I, I put an increase here. I did, I messed up, I gotta go back. Not that far back. There we go. One, okay, back to that maroon. Let's see if I can try using this maroon again because I'm almost out of it. How much did I need? Five stitches, okay. Fixed it. Cool. We're doing good now. Do I just remember the pattern? No, I actually have the pattern written right next to me. Uh, I have the PDF version open. Um, the PDF and the website is very helpful. Uh, they all have check marks to help you keep track of where you're going. When is my birthday? It's January 18th. Everybody's gonna have all my information now. Steal my identity or something. <laughs> Three. Cool. Dumb Dog Studios, your question was, oh, when's my birthday? I already said that. Okay. Keep on rocking on. There we go. Okay, we're back on track. Two. Four. Ten. I'm going to fix this red. Keep sticking out. And eleven. And then it is one in maroon. Okay, go to maroon yarn, and we need pink yarn. One maroon. One pink. Ah. Look at that purple fuzz. Purple fuzz! It's the fuzz! Run! Two pink worked in the back loop. Um, and then back to maroon. 
for one. Okay, we're flying, guys. We are on the fire. Get rid of the pink. We're going to have to add a tongue in a second. Forgot to make that earlier. Oh, we have people that are so close to my birthday. Cool. Oh, I'd love to do a little crown for this. That'd be cute. Samantha, our birthdays are so close. Oh, it's so is Elizabeth. Wow, a lot of people's birthdays are close to mine. Very cool. Oh, that's a great idea, Ruben. I love that idea. I will, I think that's a really fun idea. I'll try to do that. Okay. I still got maroon yarn to spare. I can do a whole nether boo. I ain't gonna, but I coulda. Start working around this arm. So the next, this next round is just crochets all the way around in white, I think. I hope. <laughs> Oops, Dumbbug Studios accidentally posted a bunch. Oh my gosh, Elena, your birthday is on, on Halloween. Spooky. My friend's birthday is on Halloween too, actually. My friend Baxter. Hey, I just realized, is the chat? Oh, yeah, it is moving. Okay. Hey, Ruben? Yeah, no more spaces. No, don't do that no more. <laughs> oh, dude, Cooper, thank you. Thank you so much. And and thank you for letting me know, Leaf Sauce. I appreciate that. Cooper, thanks for joining. Your boyfriend started the donation train, so you rock. Let's see. Well, let's put out... Um, Let's see, what is Cooper? What, what should we put up with Cooper? I owe you an... I know I owe you a message, too. I'm so sorry. I, I totally didn't send that. But... Let's see, it's a pretty good donation, too. How about... Oh, I don't know if I did this one last time, but let's do this. A Bigfoot for you, Cooper. This was a pattern I was thinking about for a long time, but then I was like, eh, I don't know if I like it that much. But, uh... I, I think I do like it now. I don't know. I think I'd like to work on it so that the hands and color changes look a little bit better, but it is a, a Bigfoot. I even added little feet on it. It's a pod person version of a Bigfoot. So I I think it looks pretty cool. I'll put it right here for you, Ruben. No, that's too far back. Let's go. We'll move. We'll, we'll make some room here. Make way for Cooper's Bigfoot. Okay, next up we need to add the face for our little boo. Thank you! Okay. Oh, dude, thank you, Nicola. I'm very proud of that, Baby Yoda. Yes, I'm also giving, I'm also putting things out for people that become Club Crochet members. That's why there's extra stuff. Oh, it looks like we have maybe a new one. Oh, we do. Paula, Club Crochet member. I saw it right when it got in. Paula, if you're in the chat, thank you for so much for becoming a Club Crochet member. I'll put out another thing for you. Um, we're doing burbs for the members, it seems. So let's do a hummingbird. This one's for you, Paula. Another tutorial I still need to make. A little hummingbird. We'll put it right there. No, we'll put it right there. No. Let's move the owl up a little. Bit. Let's go 
Give us a little room. There we go. Uh, no, I actually don't have anything to help prevent it from tangling. Usually it's not a problem, though. How many teeth are there? There's four teeth, okay. This is how the teeth are made. I just, I like to just embroider them on. <laughs> yeah, heck yeah, Sakana. That song was great. This is some Animal Crossing jam. How's a beak standing up? It's made on wire. It's actually, I think it's made on pipe cleaner, specifically. And then I go back. Who's excited for the Animal Crossing Direct coming out? Like, they're adding Brewster and stuff to the game. For all you Animal Crossing geeks out there like me. More like Jules. Jules is so into Animal Crossing. Same. I used to play Animal Crossing on my GameCube all the time. Um, you know what? Let's do one more thing before I sew this up. Let's do, uh, or double knot this. I'm going to go around all of the front loops to make a bit more defined lip. Listening to my crochet pattern. Look at me. I haven't made this pattern in so long. It's really nice that I get to redo it again. How are we doing on, uh, let's see, likes. Oh my God, we're so close. Only 30 more, 30 more likes and we'll hit our goal. That's crazy. Good job, everybody. We'll probably hit it. Oh man, I kind of wish I went that way with the lips, but whatever. Maybe we'll go back. Oh, you know, it's not bad. Once I tightened it, it's pretty good. That's a more defined look. It's good. Just double knot these. How much longer do you think I'll be streaming for? Probably uh, another half an hour, maybe. Maybe a little less. Um, I'm just going to finish this boo, and I want to make a top hat and monocle for our first ghost that we made and then that's it that'll be the end so we're pretty close been a great stream though like really what a fun one this one was like extra cool <laughs> they've been really good the past few live streams by the way i just want to tell you guys i thank you so much for for that for making my sundays like better and better One eye there, and one eye here. I have a very specific way that I like to add the eye brow to the boo. We take our black yarn, 
little bit like that much maybe and then I split it like that There we go. Yvonne, welcome to the live stream. If you're not if you're not subscribing, you totally should. We do a uh, live stream crochet along like this all the time. It must be pretty late there in Germany. So thanks for tuning in really late. Um, okay. So the eyebrow goes. Corner. Okay, yeah. So it goes. Out from this corner, going up a little bit, like, well, I guess I can just come out from the corner and see how that goes. That, and then it goes over, yes, over the safety bead like that, and then around it, and then down through the middle. And then do the same thing on this side. Like that. Over. Around. This one looks like it should actually come out a little bit further away. Let's come out through this one instead. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that's better. Back through the middle. That is a boo. A boo. Ah, 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 ah. Boo. Double knot, and then I'll connect the eyes on the back. Pop these backs on these eyes. Hello, Felicia. Welcome to the live stream. Oh my God, Coco already finished your, you already finished your pirate ghost? Congratulations, you're gonna be the first one coming out with a pattern, I think. Um, oh, we forgot to make the tongue. Doi. Okay. Make the tongue real quick. Yes, this is definitely Twilight. Or one of the Zeldas. Might be Twilight Princess. Yes, I did put the backing on the safety eyes. So you can see them in the back there. Okay. There's our tongue. And then we're gonna add this. You know what? Let's do uh, one more round of crocheting before I add the tongue. Because I think we just have a round of decreasing now. Yeah. Bye, Axwaddle. Thanks for joining. You guys are all so nice. I I just want you guys to know in the chat how much I appreciate how kind 
you are for for like being nice to each other i really appreciate that sunshine good to know i will um hey uh coffee and crochet if you are in the chat right now um uh open up the uh the club crochet challenge discord channel and if you're not in the chat um i will let you know after this i'll let her know after this i should say okay boom now I'm going to add. Yeah, you don't need to. Yeah, you don't need to post the, the pattern. No, you don't need to post the pattern with it. All right, tongue. I might sew. I think I'm going to sew on the tail after I sew it closed. I agree. Give kindness, receive kindness. I love it. What is next to the hummingbird? That's going to be a Bigfoot. Uh, there, it's he's next to a Bigfoot and a toucan. So there's a toucan. There's a Bigfoot. Um, the Bigfoot is like a an old old thing I crocheted. I never did a pattern for it, uh, and I don't know if I really will since I already have a Bigfoot pattern. Bigfoot Bobby, named after my daddy. Um, but it's like a pod person version of a Bigfoot. I thought it was a good thing to put out like uh, as a special thank you to Cooper. Oh, the challenge doesn't start till tomorrow. Right. Doi. Sorry, I thought the challenge started today. I forgot. All right. So we added our tongue. And uh, now we can, let's stuff it a little bit. Yeah, I guess it's little foot. You're right, Aquatic Luna, it is a little foot. By the way, hi, Aquatic Luna. I didn't realize it was you saying hi. Hope you're having a great day. Ooh, we do have a request for the pod person version of Bigfoot. Okay, I'll work on... I might work on it soonish. Elizabeth, uh, what is the challenge? So we are doing a club crochet challenge right now where you crochet a ghost of any kind. You can either make one of the four that I use. That, uh, you can use my patterns or you can use other patterns or whatever you want. Um, you crochet a ghost and post a picture of it and whatever our... We, me and the moderators choose four of our favorites and then uh, we put it to a vote for everybody and wh whatever picture wins, uh, wins some money. Uh, I put all the information for the Club Crochet Challenge at clubcrochet.com slash challenge. Uh, I'll put a link, I meant to put a link in the description of this video, but I totally forgot. Clubcrochet.com slash challenge. Check it out there. That's where all the rules are and all the information. You can post it on Instagram or Discord or Reddit. Um, those are the three places that we accept submissions from. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay. We'll stuff it a little bit more and then we'll add a uh, our tail to our boo, and then we'll finish up by making a, uh, a hat, a top hat for our, our classic ghost here. A top hat and a monocle, that's what we wanna do. It'll be a little fancy ghost. Wow, this look how good the face for that boo is, by the way. Uh, not to toot my own horn, but uh -uh, pretty good. <laughs> Um, we do, uh, yes, you, we don't, we don't do it on TikTok, uh, only Reddit, Facebook, or Reddit, Instagram, and, um, uh, Discord right now, but maybe we should do a, a TikTok, I don't know, we'll think about it, I'll, I'll think about doing TikTok. I don't think, actually, no, I don't think TikTok will work because it's going to be a video, so we only want, we only submit, uh, accept pictures. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, it's zone closed. But no tail, so we need to add the tail. I got yarn all over me right now. Yes, you can post it on Reddit or on Discord. Um, and then we can accept emails. So just uh, if you want to email us, go to the contact page and just let us know that this is a submission for the challenge. And we'll, we'll, we'll accept it that way. And that's just at contact at clubcrochet.com. Start there. Hey, Janelle. How are you? Where do I get my cotton yarn is what Dumb Dog Studios asks. I get my cotton yarn, uh, I order it in bulk, so I have like a bunch of it, but you can get it at, um, Usually at Joanne Fabrics has it. Um, you can also buy it online. It's just Lily Sugar and Cream. I'm gonna start adding it to my shop so that you could purchase it from uh, Club Crochet too. Uh, but that will be a second until I'm ready for that. Just adding a little tiny itty itty bit of stuffing into the tail. Um, actually, maybe this is a bad idea. We'll come back to that. It's not that bad of an idea, but it's too soon. Yeah, Michaels has it too. I'm actually pretty surprised Hobby Lobby doesn't carry it. Let's see, we got one, two, three. One, two, three. Perfect. Oh, by the way, uh, uh, I, well, never mind. It doesn't matter. I was going to tell you guys about a video game that I beat last night, but. I don't know if anybody's played Hades, but I beat Hades last night. I'm very proud of myself. I beat it right before I went to bed. What encoder for live streaming do I use? I am using uh, Streamlabs right now. Um, you can also use OBS. Uh, OBS is a great one. But I'm currently using Streamlabs. I think that's what you're asking. Really? This song is from Twilight Princess? I didn't know that. Okay, I'm just going to go all the way over to this one and then double knot it and we are done with our boo. Do you know that the laugh of boo is just Bowser's laugh sped up? At least in in uh, in the sixty four version, I thought that was interesting. Okay. Ba ba ba. Boo! Finished. All four ghosts done. In, let's see, what is that? Three hours? Yeah, three hours. Four ghosts. Yeah, wow, wow. The rules for the giveaway really simple. You just gotta put in uh your four put into the form here I'll put it in right here in fact now I'm gonna say now is your last chance to enter for the giveaway because I'm just gonna be adding a top hat and a um, monocle to our main ghost and then after that I'm going to do a I'm gonna announce the winner for the giveaway so you have maybe 10 15 minutes we're going to add a top hat and a monocle to this guy, and then I'm going to call it and announce the winner. And yeah, so you only have a little bit left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. 338 likes. We need to get to 350. Only 12? Yeah, 12 more likes. Hey, if you like this video, make sure to like it down below. We're doing another giveaway next week. 
if we our next live stream on uh, October 20th if you just uh, if this video gets 350 likes which honestly I was like nah there's no way they're gonna get to 350 likes but this is totally gonna get to 350 likes there is no age limit for the giveaway um nope you just get uh, you're gonna get a gift card for a uh, crochet kit or whatever you want to purchase in the club crochet store so you can either get a ghost kit or uh, whatever you want. Really, you can even get a club crochet membership. All right. There's the start of our top hat. I think I just remember how to make a top hat, so I don't think I need to look at a pattern, hopefully. My gosh, only seven more likes. I think we're gonna do it. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, you guys are nuts. I, you know what? I think I'm excited. I think I'm excited about the Mario movie. Oh, here, I'll like it here too. I forgot to like it on this channel for you. That should help. Um, I think, I think I'm really excited for the Mario movie. Honestly, I, I think that the, I don't know how they're gonna make those voiceover actors work, but I'm excited to see how they make it work. One. Oh, we're going to use the rest of our maroon yarn for this top hat to give it a stripe. And I got to go get more maroon yarn because I'm almost out. <laughs> Jimbo's meowing at the door. I don't know if you can hear him or not. Yes, we can all virtually high five. Almost there. Yeah, Chris Pratt does seem weird for Mario, but uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be weird. I'm gonna see it. Like, no question, I'm gonna go see it. I really want it. I really want to see it. You know. Again, only a little bit longer left to submit for the giveaway. We're gonna be announcing the winner in uh, just a few minutes. Check the top link in the description if you haven't entered to win yet. And we're just going to choose someone randomly. There we go. Oh, yeah, there's a new Mario movie in development. And the they're doing... Um... Oh, I'll show you, Alice. You're going to love how to do the monocle. You're going to love it. It's really cool. Um, they're doing a Mario movie, and the uh, voice of Mario is Chris Pratt, which is so weird. Everybody's like, what? And the voice of Luigi is Charlie Day. That one I get. I get Charlie Day. What is the easiest amigurumi to start with for beginners? I would say either this ghost amigurumi or the octopus. So clubcrochet.com slash ghost or slash octopus. Which is my favorite ghost? I think Boo, uh, just because it's so cool. Like, look at how dope that is. It's like really cool. Hey, we did it! High five, everybody. Congratulations. Thank you very much for uh, getting it to 350 likes. We'll do another giveaway next live stream. You guys are in freaking sane. Oh, I can try getting some ergonomic hooks. I would really like to get crochet hooks uh, in the shop eventually. Seriously, guys, good job. Congratulations.
and thank you also big time. Wow, I can't believe it. I honestly, I was like, there's no way. Especially in the live stream. I thought maybe after the live stream, some people come in and like it, but no way did I think that we'd get 350 likes during the live stream. That is uh, definitely for sure a new record. <laughs> Freaking cool. Clap and a half. I don't know what that means, but great. <laughs> it's from a different channel. Okay. Um, I just realized this is not enough maroon yarn. So let me get some more red yarn for our hat because I want to do a stripe of red yarn. And then let me get a um, the stuff for the monocle. Uh, uh, but yeah, you guys are awesome. Okay, only uh, like a few more minutes left for the giveaway, so go sign that up. Let me go grab red yarn. It's right here, so I'm not really going anywhere. Just right here. And then we need, I think I want to get gold, right? Where did I put? Okay, we're gonna do a silver monocle. Need a little bit of this red for the hat. Oops. Let me take a drink of water. <laughs> Tyler, your dog's also named Louie. It's a good name. It's a good name, even for a doggy. If you win the giveaway and you're not here during the giveaway, don't worry. I'll just email you and let you know that you won. So if you need to leave and you're like, oh, no, I'm going to miss the giveaway. Don't worry about it. It's not going to be that big of a deal. I'll, I'll still email you if you won. Okay. I just want to do a stripe of red for our top hat. So a few more rounds here. And we'll be done. And then I'll, I'll add them on a cool and then we'll announce the winner. Jimbo, we know you're there. We all hear you. Oh, I hope I have enough black yarn for this. I'm using the yarn from the kit, and in the kit, like, I don't anticipate you're going to make a top hat, but I might have enough. Uh, how do you join the giveaway? Uh, you join the giveaway by using the link in the top of the um, the description. I don't think I'm going to sew the top hat on either. I think I'm just going to pin it on because I don't want to take the time to sew it on. Oh, Emily, I didn't even know. That's good. I didn't know there was a monocle emoji. I like that. Who wears monocles? I mean, seriously. Do you think anybody legitimately wears a monocle anymore? Maybe. One rich guy. Somewhere that's like... I still wear a monocle, young man. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to yell at you. Mr. Peanut, yeah. Mr. Peanut does, yeah. You're right. Just about done here. Wow, still 67 people watching. Congr like, that's so cool. Really, they do in London? That <laughs> Jimbo is losing his mind at the at the at the door. He wants to hang out so bad. We're almost done, buddy. We're lax. Okay.
Yeah, maybe some steampunk cosplayers. Yeah, that seems accurate. Okay, just gotta do the brim now. I had to be extra and add this stripe. Good. Hey, Cold Blooded Adventures. You're right at the end, actually. Make sure to enter the giveaway because there's only a few more minutes left to enter. But welcome. Do I do? Yeah. One. Yes, I'm making a top hat for our first ghost. We're doing a top hat and a monocle on him. And then we're, uh, yeah. So, making the top hat, and then I'm going to be making the monocle in just a second. I couldn't find my gold for my, uh, my wire, so we're going to make the monocle out of silver. Usually, I would like to make a monocle out of gold, obvi. But I don't know where my gold uh, wire is. All right, just at the end here. I'll just do a little slip stitch and then hide our end. Get in there, there you go. Okay. Oh my gosh, Jimbo's yowling. Yow! Yes, I am. I'm working only. I was only working in the front loops only for the uh, the brim there. There's actually a pattern for this top hat at clubcrochet.com/tophat if you wanted to uh, use the pattern. And there's a new hat pattern coming out next week for a witch hat if you want to uh, subscribe and all that other fun stuff. All right. So I'm just going to keep these ends long because I'm going to need them for sewing it onto the head later. I don't want to sew it onto the head right now just because it's been a long live stream. So I'm just going to put a pin in it to keep it on its head. For now. Oh, I like purple. There's a purple pin. Let's do that. Okay. Okay, so there's his top hat. Now he needs his monocle. So we're gonna use this um, wire and I'll show you how I make a monocle. I just need a little bit. That's definitely more than enough. And I like using pliers for this. You can use scissors, but they will mess your scissors up. So I'm gonna use pliers instead. And then it's actually pretty easy to do any kind of uh, monocle thing. We're just gonna take our crochet hook or whatever we want to make a circle out of. Actually, maybe this crochet hook's a little small. Let's grab a, uh, let's grab a bigger, let's grab this hook. So we got a big monocle. And we'll go make a little circle like that. We'll make a little loop there. And we'll take these ends and just wind them. Like, honestly, we only need to wind them like once or twice, maybe. And then this end will come down. And I'll make it come back up. Sorry, I'm a little blurry. Okay, so I'll make a little loop here. Like that. And then we can take this and twist. 
Oops, I twisted the wrong way. Okay, so I'm just making like a little loop there so that he can have a chain hanging from it. We're not going to add a chain, but we could. Let's flatten it a little. And then these two ends go into the body, but we don't need them that long, so we can actually just cut them pretty short. Oops, I made it for the wrong eye, but that's okay. I'll just take both these ends and we could just poke them in the in the face somewhere. Actually, let's make a little hole for it. I think I want to go right here. Right there and like there. Come on. There it goes. Mm, we need it further away from his face. I like that. <laughs> I made the I made the circle a little big, but it works. Pop out here. Put on the opposite side of the head. Da 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 da! Fancy octopus! Yes, yeah, I mean fancy ghost! Yes, of course, yes! Oopsies, this top hat's fallen. There. Punk! Da 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 da! Alright, guys, we have finished! What do you think? Before I announce the winner. We got, we started with our ghost, we made Pinky, we made Ghastly, and we made Boo. Again, there is a links to the, um, oh, quick, enter the giveaway. This is your last, last, last chance. Let me put it in the. Okay, so I just put it in the chat. This is your last chance. As I say, uh, say my little thank yous and goodbyes and all that other stuff, and then we'll announce the winners and and say pasta la pizza. So really quick, uh, thank you for watching, guys. If you like this stuff and you would like to help support this channel, other than liking down below, subscribing, all that other fun stuff, you can become a Club Crochet member. Members get early access to future patterns, access to future kits, future patterns coming out. Um, all everything you see on screen well almost everything is either a pattern or will be a pattern on clubcrochet.com and every one of them will be available if you have a club crochet membership we also do monthly kits mailed to your door each month with whatever you need uh, mailed to you this month we are crocheting Audrey 2 from Little Shop of Horrors let me move these guys over so I can get Audrey in here and we'll be crocheting this live next, not this Wednesday, but the Wednesday after. So Wednesday the 20th, starting at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we'll be doing a crochet along for Audrey 2. If you want to get a crochet kit now, it'll come in time for next uh, for the live stream. So you can find those at clubcrochet.com slash Audrey. There's a crochet pattern for it, video tutorial and everything. Uh, and yeah, if you order the kit right now, you'll have it in time for the crochet along next Wednesday. Um, so check it out there. It comes with everything, including the little pot. Um, but yeah, consider becoming a Club Crochet member, pro member. Oh, members also get discounts in the shop. So if you want to become a Club Crochet member and get discounts uh, for kits, you can do that as well. Um, and memberships start at $5 a month. You can get uh, a free trial. So if you just want to try it out, see how you like it. If you don't like it, you can cancel it at any time. Um, thank you so much for watching again, guys. Uh, we're going to be doing a giveaway or announcing the giveaway in just a sec. Uh, oh, and the last thing, um, the, the Club Crochet Challenge for Crochet Ghost just started. You can find links about that at clubcrochet.com slash challenge. All you have to do is crochet a ghost using any of these four ghost patterns or any pattern you want. You can even just make up the pattern if you want to. 
and make a cute picture of it, maybe wearing a costume or in a cute location, uh, and post a picture of it. All the rules are at clubcrochet.com slash challenge, and the winner will win a little gift card to the Club Crochet store. Oh, I think that's just about it. Um, thank you guys so much again for watching, and let's announce the winner. We're going to close submissions. Move that. Let's move this guy over. Okay. Wow, we got 101 recipients for the giveaway. That is the most we've ever gotten. Random number generator. Here we go. Okay. Ready? All right. We have a winner. We need to go like this. All right. And the winner is to win a crochet uh, kit or a, a gift card for a crochet kit. The winner is Joammy. J O A M M Y Y Y. That is how they said they wanted their name to be announced. <laughs> so, Joammy, congratulations. I don't know if you're still in the chat or not. If you are in the chat, um Congratulations. If you're not in the chat, I'll be emailing you in just a, like later today about how you won the giveaway. Um, and thank you for everybody that entered to win the giveaway. We're going to be doing another giveaway next week for a crochet kit for Audrey too. So if you want to uh, come in next giveaway to say thank you for getting us 361 likes in one during a live stream. 363, sorry. Uh, that is for sure a... A record so you guys broke a record today by a long shot so thank you so so much for that um, thank you for joining the live stream thanks for crocheting with me thanks for just hanging out on a Sunday I know it's uh, your weekend so the fact that you wanted to spend your weekend with me like that's so cool like you make me blush um, <laughs> uh, yeah thanks for joining guys thank you Thank you for the live stream, Voodoo. <laughs> Thanks for having fun with me and making some ghosts. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Um, oh, here, let me put it in the chat really quick. This is... One sec. This is going to be where next Wednesday's live stream is. So if you want to, since you're already on the on it right now... Um, stream here. Okay, so I just put, put it in the chat. If you want to check it out, uh, that's where the next live stream is going to be. So if you want to join the next live stream, that's where it's going to be. And you can say, like, notify me when this is live, stuff like that. So, yeah. Okay, guys. Pasta la pizza. Happy hooking. Oogly boogly. Spooky pooks. And, uh, yeah. Bye, everybody. All right. What do I click here? I hit this one that says done. Okay. All right. Bye. Okay. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Stop it. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, my God. No, you hang up. <laughs> Stop. You hang up first. No, you hang up first. No. Oh, my God. You're so bad. Pasta La Pizza Dumb Dog Studios. Goodbye. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? She said that to you? No, you hang up. <laughs> Sin. You hang up first. No, you. Oh my gosh, I'm not hanging up until you hang up. No. Fine. I'll talk to you next Wednesday. Bye, everybody. <laughs>